All right, I completely forgot about the interview. So we're going to be watching that now. Um, the YouTube video didn't have the interview at the end, so we've seen what... Hi, I'm Chris Wilson from Grinding Gear Games. My fucking ears. What is happening? That was not on my Good end. Good morning, exiles, and welcome to our Q&A portion for what today. I'm joined by Jonathan and Mark. And first thing, we're going to be talking about Path of Exile 1 questions. As I know that's the content that you'll be getting your hands on soon and want to hear all about. And then afterwards, we'll follow up with a bit of a deep dive into Path of Exile 2 reveals, both from today and also some of the other stuff that came Wait, up. Wait, so they're doing it the reverse of last time. Event. I like that. But uh, good morning, Jonathan and Mark. How are you going? Hey, oh. really nice to be here again. Yeah, good morning. <clears throat> Thanks for having us. Unlucky. <laughs> Chris was fired. I love talking to you folks about the Path Unlucky. of Exile, right? So <laughs> let's keep things off with the new League Necropolis. And I just want to ask, should I ask about Lycia and Katarina? and what it means for them to be involved, especially since they like characters that are actively present elsewhere in the game in another mechanic right now. Like, what does that mean? Um, uh, we, we bent the rules a little bit on that teaser. They're not actually involved. <laughs> um, they're o only in the sense that they are both uh, T-17 map bosses. So you don't actually fight them together, <laughs> but uh, we thought it would make a cool... Uh, you fight the no, other ones together, shot. though. I, I you do fight Katarina question, so. and <laughs> yeah. the Abyss bosses together. Yeah, I was like, okay. And then I was like, we just don't do the and the stuff. Beyond like, bosses kind of, like, together. deal with death, so there's a bit of a connection well, there. Like, when you get into maps, everything's all memories and the line gets a bit blurred. You can kind of do whatever you want, which is a, a good thing about that system. <laughs> you don't have to stay so grounded and sensible. But um, So, yeah, we do have some interesting... It's kind of last epoch time travel thing, but different. instead of in PoE, um, it's just memories. Know, again, the, the maps allow us to uh, kind of detach from the the groundedness of the world and the rules of what's actually happening in the, happening in there. It looks like there's a lot of boss stuff coming this. Oh, league. Then you can put uh, your is mic that down all focused on the new T seventeen maps, or is there some with the league mechanic itself as well? Uh, no, we focus the monster development this time around on the T-17s instead of the League. Um, so there's no new bosses in Am the I League. Am I crazy? T-17s are, already existed. There are some reuse of monsters right? uh, through like the All Flame Embers and whatnot, but not bosses. Uh, and um, then, yeah, we put all our monster de our boss development towards creating these T-17 bosses, the, as well as the, the monsters. M like There the are quite a lot of actual T17s? interesting monsters in the T-17 maps as well. Um, like I don't know if people saw, but there's you can get Brutus as just a monster. Like, he's not a boss. He's just, there oh. are packs of Brutuses. And, you know, <laughs> I thought he was the end game. Brutus, I believe. Throughout the, like, the, the non notable ones, which um, will be quite oh, interesting. Oh, so to there's see. just bosses probably find in this a rare haste just Brutus random. Is a whole different level <laughs> compared to even the Brutus map. Wait, that's really boss. scary. There's yeah, some really scary bosses. Boss affliction at launch for those of us there who empowered that boss. <laughs> That was an experience, to be sure. Wait, so, I gotta go back. We'll, we'll Did he have modifiers on him? Of the day, then, with the tier 17 maps. So there's four of these, was there? Uh, we've got five of them. Five. Um, yeah, we've got the Ziggurat map, Sanctuary map, Fortress hey, map, he said, Abomination map, and He Citadel said, find map. these on your own, five. and he's telling us right now. And these are like effectively uber maps but we kind of also had uber maps last league in a different way with the community made maps as well but this is a whole different system right uh yeah this is uh this is different um obviously the, the yeah. valdo's maps come with a lot, a lot All of those craziness the going on there are custom mod pools on these i mean um, and there is a little uber bit of overlap but nowhere yeah. near as crazy like you don't you're not going to roll the like mod that sends you to the void league or anything like that um that's exclusive for those player made ones um but yes, this is uh, a new tier of difficulty. Um, it is expected that they are hard, for sure. But I'm sure some of your questions get into some of that. So yeah, you know, sure. explain them as it comes. <laughs> so um, this is these are the primary vehicle now for getting like the Uber fight keys. What it is really weird not to see Chris and like any other stuff anymore. Map thing they like literally just use him to say hi. I'm Chris Wilson. The meeting that's it. Like you would get an uber maven key it's well, so weird like okay like let's say you uh let's say it was from shaper mm -hmm. and to get uber shaper and you you kill your shaper let's say it was even once every time and now you kill your uber shaper and or let's say you fail that's fine but eventually you conquer it you can kill it it's not now fun to go back and do regular shaper where clearly you can do the uber version why are you bothering with the non-uber version so unless you want a specific drop from him 
um, it's it's not fun to go back and just do like a clearly uh, lower grade quality. So we, yeah. we instead went with it going a different way where we have something that is ideally in between those two points of difficulty and has random variants. Like you'll find that some of the tier 17 map bosses with certain mod combinations are probably even harder than the Uber Pinnacles. Um, depending on your character and all of those variables there. Um, I wouldn't say that's going to happen entirely consistency, uh, consistently, like it, it'll be occasionally the case, but um, it certainly isn't fun to just be like, in order to do Uber Shaper, I have to do this content that I have clearly proven capable of doing and just repeating that over and over. I see, yeah. So it's for the people who want to farm their own ones, they're doing content. But you still will need to go back and do the weaker ones if you want a unique from yes, them. Yes, correct, yeah. Right on. How do you get the tier 17 maps, though? Uh, so the tier 17 maps, uh, when you get more void stones, it has a chance to convert T16 maps that drop. Um, mm. The more void stones you get, it becomes multiplicatively higher. Um, but there is a kind of diminishing returns on that. Um, so it is quite probable to convert T16 maps like the first one. And then as you get more T17s, it becomes less and less and less. Like and the 10, reason we 5, did that 2, is obviously 1. the discrepancy between just running regular T16s like and obviously top tier juicing. You end up with like, you know, the multiplier difference of the amount of T16s dropping is uh, substantial to say the least. <laughs> and we didn't Chat want it to be to that uh, we have to balance around the juicing uh, with respect to getting spamming. T17s. We wanted to be that more accessible across the board. Um, Hell, and so. Guys. Uh, yes, we added a kind of diminishing return. So uh, like your first one might be quite probable, the next one's less and the next one less. And then you're not going to get like, you know, 20 T17s in one map kind of thing going on. Right. Um, it is also worth noting T17s cannot drop T17s. They are not self-sustaining. The mm. intention is that you are still kind of doing T16s Wait. and occasionally diving into T17s. Wait, why? Unless you want to why trade is that not a... which case, Why you can't know, you just have a 1% chance to get one? So why I is saw zero? They have a very like new that. mod pool. Um, and we saw things, one of the mods I saw was uh, Ray Monsters removed 10% life, mana, and ES on hit. That mana removed on hit crazy. seems to break a lot of builds in particular whenever that sort of thing comes up, uh, as mana is generally a pretty finely tuned system in Path of Exile. And it gets me thinking in general about mods like 80% reduced recovery and things that How does that work for um, like that. Petrified Blood? And it feels just, just a bit pits, not too dissimilar to, to monsters just being immune to your build, right? Um, so what's the intention behind those sorts of modifiers in maps? Um, it certainly was the ideal dream back when that there are a lot of modifiers that can't be done by every build and you'd re-roll them and whatnot. Now, obviously, in the context of T17s, you can't re-roll them. So this really is, um, you should either change your play style, take your time, be a bit more careful um, to do it. Or was that you me or the away, of course, Or maybe you simply can't run it on that character. Or was it you? And you have to maybe build a different character that is capable of doing, or more characters that are capable of doing different maps. Um, there is one tool, though, that is in the form of a scarab. Um, one of the scarabs gives you additional crafting modifiers on your map device. It isn't a common scarab by any means, so you can't just use it on every T17. But two of the extra crafting mods that get applied to the map device is that prefixes are disabled and suffixes are disabled. Well, so I love that. So if you do get one of these T17s, I do expect sometimes, and you're like, ah, I can't run it because of this modifier, you can at least use that scarab to turn that off occasionally. Is um, so this is like one prefix? of the tools that you can use to have uh, get around out. certain mods that it might be too hard or you can't quite get through. But the general idea is that you do have to actually think about these modifiers, play around them, change your characters. It's not to just a kind of like... I assume it disables the quantum stuff But it shouldn't just well. be a T17 as mindless go in there and do it. Unless, of course, your build is so strong and so diverse that it can do that, which that's fine. If you want to build your character that way, then... You know, that's what the game allows you to do, and that's what we like, so. Right on, right on. We'll uh, jump back to the league a little bit before we uh, move on to some of the other end game questions that I have. Uh, but uh, what are you doing with the difficulty control for Necropolis, where you can select which monsters get buffed in which way? This, uh, the difficulty like looks crazy. For, especially with Afflictions launch, where we didn't have as precise control over the difficulty of content we were facing. That said, how do you weigh up giving this level of control against things like adding to the time it takes to jump into the gameplay. I saw that this is going to take a bit of time to like read through those things and shuffle the menu each time. Um, so obviously we like giving control. Um, but yes, in this league, you cannot skip the difficulty. Um, yeah, you have to do it. Control is a way to make it easier or harder if you want. 
Um, but you cannot skip it. If you just enter the area and you don't interact with the lantern, you'll get whatever randomly generates. So you don't have to, I'd say throughout the campaign, like it is going to be Gary. harder by not into engaging with it, but you don't have to engage with the league in the sense of interacting with that UI. Um, but you will have to deal like with like a rare mob a with like 100% increased so damage you, or something. Really and maybe you get two of them. In this case, so it's like can't crit, really 100% it, crit. Um, yeah. Which isn't something 100% we do damage. A lot, um, but, you know, occasionally and it's a we rare get mob. back into that and try it out. Um, now, that being said, uh, yes, obviously we like difficulty, being able to manipulate the difficulty. Um, and I think it is, and obviously the rewards as well. I don't know now, if I'm doing this for leveling. It just needs to be the case that it is worth your time. Know from a reward standpoint, engaging with that. If that isn't the case, we have failed. Like, it obviously should be worth your time from a reward point to go, oh, awesome, I got this thing, I need to put it on I, uh, some I don't see XP, it. I need to put it I on this pack, it. or you get, like, you know, the pack spawns Torment Spirits on death, I need to make sure it's on this pack. Like, there are certainly lots of uh, positive mods that, or, like, spawning lesser shrines, right? If you put that on a very rare pack, um, you're not going to get very many of them. If you put it on a common pack, all of a sudden you're going to have a whole bunch of shrine buffs I, throughout oh. the area, which in turn also makes it easier so i, I can't say because we haven't seen harder, everything obviously it but it some feels like um um now one thing you said talking about the time, like feels like there's when you get to end game um which not enough reward like for every map for you do get presented with that ui but because we have added the uh nodes on the atlas tree for necropolis we have added a keystone that al allows you to well, effectively what it says is the mods are applied randomly and there are more mods, so it is harder and mm. it is more rewarding in some senses, but you then don't get to customize it. But if you know what's also like, going to oh, happen? People are going to die interacting with in that the CUI. Maps, um, you can just run the map and it will randomly do it. And like that isn't necessarily to say that that's better or worse. It's just one of the ways Wait, someone can customize you, their experience here. When um, do they yeah, so show that? The campaign, when you do you um, have to use the UI, but it will probably be hard. Hot. When does um it happen in maps? Does he ever show it in a map device? I know when it happens in zones. When did, where do you, where is the lantern thing in? There's monsters in it that you'd rather avoid, like porcupines. We're also trying something new void. Made that Each... And of course, these ember monsters can be raised to specters too. I think this is bait. Finally, oh, here it is. Let's discuss how this league works in in-game maps. Each in-game map will allow you oh, to appears it before you press enter device game maps. Each in -game uh, map will allow you to manipulate it using the lantern. I guess that's okay. UI. However, instead I kind of miss this cycling every few minutes. It is fixed to that map. Once you view the map through the lantern, you cannot remove it from the map device. So you can't trade that map away now that you've seen it is too difficult for you or has monsters in it that you'd rather avoid like porcupines. I mean, that one seemed easy. Something new this time around. During okay. It just appears before. Less rewarding, so you should be wanting to do it, unless, of course, you just want to get to end game. Go for it. And at end game, if you want to invest in the Keystone, oh, you can start doing it on the maps themselves if you, again, don't want to have to deal with it. So ideally, we've given, you know, the choice here to do both versions yeah. and play the way you want to play. I think that's... um really clever using the atlas passive tree as like a tool to be able to customize that league experience now I'm to the point where i'm surprised it hasn't happened before right but it makes it was sense actually uh, we were I'm talking so about surprised trying to find a way before. and we were talking about like check boxes and all that and it's all just a little bit inelegant and um it was actually a suggestion of one of the programmers was like we could do a keystone and then we're like hey we never actually do tree support for the i'm current so league. it's so it's crazy that they don't do this really like switching and, trees um, every league from there we're like Wait, we just should remove just do like this. fucking like, beyond this league this and like put over beyond this or whatever. Different strategies and then and next like, league, why not? Bring um, so beyond I back think it is like a good addition. We'll see how it actually something. plays, um, because it's the first time we're doing it, and then and then give us doing it for jewel slots in the tree that let us change the tree so we can add essence back with an item. I think it's cool here, um, but you know we're not always right. All right. Um, so in the campaign, the monsters you kill in one zone affect what happens in the next zone, like the amount of devoted monsters, modifiers that show up. 
Um, and this is the first time Wait, I'm what? seeing a league like this where it, what, what you do in one affects like kind of the next zone like that. I missed um, that entirely. Does it work on like any next zone you enter, even like a zone reset of the same zone or somewhere in a different act or something? Um, no, no. So this doesn't. Uh, the league actually doesn't isn't customizable when accessing through waypoint or through the world map. Oh. Um, which is very d bit different. I mean, you might think, oh, but my blood aqueduct farming, and yeah, sure, you can still do it <laughs> technically by farming from town, but we're also like, you know, I, not that I know how many people even still do that outside of like, you know, SSF tabular farming, which I still don't even know of necessarily no, as a strategy. I don't think anyone does. Um, I'd never go and do blood aqueduct way, yes, farming, farming anymore. The same zone over and There's over no is point. not really embraced in this league. Um, the difficulty will still be there, but you won't be able to customize the mods, uh, and you won't get devoted mods either. Mm. Um, so it's more for like you know the linear playthrough when you're going through. Um, I feel it's just not that good anymore. So solves boring because you can yeah, get so many six links from like just playing the like more haunted monsters you T1 kill, maps. the more likely you will get devoted modifiers. It's a campaign only feature. It doesn't happen in maps. Maps are completely randomly generated per item. Uh, um, so you, it is it, it's an interesting way where it works a little bit differently in the campaign than maps, which I think is is interesting. Oh, so quite, it's like I static, like static in the campaign. There. So they've um, already chosen the all the mods for the campaign. Kill, the Man, that, took, are, that must have taken monsters. a fucking while. And this is actually a reward for why you want to make it hard. Because if, let's just use Mudflats as the example, if you put all the hard mods, if you have, say, two out of four of the packs, or however many packs there are, have haunted mods, you might want to say, I'm going to make that easier and put them on the zombies and Don't water elements. But those are the least fun. common monsters Based. in that area, and thus Based. you are less likely to now get devoted modifiers Don't revert to appear it. when transitioning into nice. either Fetid Pool or um, uh, Submerged Passage. So you hey, actually have an incentive rock, to mark. put them on the uh, rowers and the other pack of rowers because they double are like the Roberts. dominant monster in that area. How um, which is kind is of interesting. So again, like there are pros and many pros and cons to controlling the difficulty and rewards. This um, is not getting done during then, the yeah, campaign. There's the no next, shot. Uh, when you next peer through the lantern, it will like show which mods you got. Um, and yeah, hopefully you get as many good ones as you can. But also the other thing, which maybe while we're re-leveling, yeah. The reason why it's actually sometimes good to make With, things like, harder. Twink gear. Um, in some sense. Uh, there's so no many shot on my here, first playthrough. It's, it's more like you want as many monsters as possible haunted by as many high tier things as possible. Um, is that the haunted monsters are the ones that can turn into the ones that you collect for crafting. So again, if you want to maximize your crafting output, mm. you want to be putting the haunted modifiers of the highest tiers on the most the are uh, the packs that have the highest density and pack size. Um, so again, going into mud flats as the example, you want to have the rowers do that if you want to maximize your crafting output. So there are two axes and rewards for why you want to be making things harder. But often what These I would, are gonna have I would to say be people crazy are probably going to be for like, me to I'm ever want to do it in the campaign. To start with is, and they get more comfortable with their character as their character gets more powerful. They start to take a little bit more risks in that regard. And of course, if it becomes too hard and they over... I was thinking about what type of character I want to make. I think an auto bomber um, is my goal this league. Pretty frequently. A really good auto bomber. Running through an area, the next time you, if you then had to recreate that area, I haven't done one in um, so long. You're like, nah, this is. I've made it too hard. Um, the mods will be ro have rotated, and you can adapt your decisions and be like, yeah, this is easier for me now. I'll I'll, I'll wait Maybe a few a more areas or more levels until I then face the difficulty again. So um, how clearly is that like reward system communicated in the UI? Can like someone who hasn't like watched this know that, you know, killing more of these monsters will give more devoted to the next zone and stuff like that? Uh, that isn't currently communicated. No, nope, not at all. Um, you probably didn't Fuck see em. it in the live stream. You didn't stream, watch this video? Um, at Fuck least you. on the hovers when you hover over and it just says devoted, yep. we will put like a little... Um, uh, uh, Alright, we'll that's probably change. You should, like, guys should probably add something like, before release. Servant haunted, that says haunted, that. Et um, currently, I think it says something, Jesus. but I can't remember what, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do a, um... <laughs> nah, uh, fuck them. You know, a pass on making things more... Don't watch our release video, kind of you don't that. deserve um, to know. That uh, this is the first time in PoE where you have information about what is in a zone and what the pack compositions are, and like, just information yeah. about the monsters. And there's just information generally there about like what monsters do and so on, um, which is kind of not really something we've ever really. They kind done of added Pewee DB um, so this to UI the game. Sort of provides that, and it'll be interesting. Kind of weird, to huh? See like whether that's actually useful, and like whether we want to think about how we might communicate that again in the future, because like all that's now sort of a thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's all in the game now. Yeah. Actually, all of it's in yeah, the game. I got really excited. Actually, so they could just make a database like, for oh, it. Oh, 
we can actually see what their abilities are and damage types. Yeah, it's like all it, actually it's already in. A, they've already a, made a database no, for it. It just pulls from the database. That, um, so they just have to make it uh, like have uniform density distribution of make maps, a so like a good UI um, thing for it or something. Generally, in a map, you're going to have like uh, I think it's five or six five packs or whatever, and you're going to have twenty. It's generally going to be that there's twenty percent of the map is each pack. So in maps, there are these extra little symbols, which I don't think were in the live stream that we've kind of added in more recently, which are variants. So sometimes a certain pack is going to have higher like pack size or mod effect or density, and there'll be these kind of up and down arrows to kind of show like this pack's going to be more common and this one's going to be less common and stuff like that, just to add that variance so okay. that those variables can still play a, a role in um, when interacting Instead of with having us read it, it would just, just put like, little symbols next to each you know, one. Oh, that could be good. Lines, I'll do X and, and then mo so they have the arrows. They just need to add more, I think. About. Add so more symbols. So we've added extra variables to make it that the packs and maps, um, you know, are a bit, you know, have more influence on your decisions. That being said, when you get into tier 17 and you or have a pack of Brutuses, you might you might actually think... <laughs> Wait, yeah. can you actually get a pack of Brutuses? You're talking about your up and down arrows there, maybe realize what that's the next going to be. Monster stock market investing. It's, it's there. It's ready for you. Monster <laughs> stock market. Right. Um, so I'm going to go off topic a little bit here and answer a, uh, a chanted question in chat so that we can get back on track. Um, so... We one sec. There we go. Um, so you've been flooding us with a lot of great quality of life updates uh, uh, after this release. Uh, it's like some spring cleaning is going. You on see that right drip now, of sweat come down his forehead right then? Uh, that said, at least one of them seems to have missed the mark, which is the automation change and the resulting removal of the ability to bind instant skills. To well, maybe it hasn't missed the mark. It hasn't missed the mark in the community, but maybe not for them having an auto cast that way. So this seems to be a pretty unpopular change, and I just want to ask you guys, why do you feel like that is? Why why is it so unpopular? Um, well, there's a fair. Few, I'll, I'll go into a few things here, but you it takes obviously a gem slot. The That's on this fucked. One. As I said, we're not always right. Um, but it takes an absolute. I do, however, think this ton of is power away, losing one gem slot. Good things the way we've done it, but the problem is it hasn't obviously solved it entirely. And it made a, a new problem to a bad solution, at least from our perspective. Is yeah not a what good, we should be doing a good um so we will make a bad further problem changes. with a good solution exactly made another bad problem what degree a worse um, problem maybe even obviously discussions going on so to get into some details there um i do believe that it is beneficial now that it is a more observable mechanic a less like hidden specialized mechanic of you know like you can follow a build guide and you can see oh this person's using this instant skill but at no point does a user necessarily know they should randomly, unintuitively bind it to left click to have it auto cast. Also, the, the way that was you should was remove the fucking like, uh, attack from left click. Like such a strange like from the beginning. Why should this even be a thing? Kind of you know like like it's like it's sort of it's it was kind of almost exploiting a quirk and just the way that our input system was rather than really yes. being like an actual mechanic we decided to exist. I think that was probably where we started to feel like oh you know this is like because I remember when I was discussing it with Mark and I was kind of like this really like. If you tell a new user about this thing right. and the way that it works and why... I don't know if they go over it or if they do change it. If bone armor is no longer a cooldown thing and you just have bone armor and it works like Aegis, fuck it. <laughs> remove... Keep all this automation stuff and remove left click. I don't care. That's... Mwah. But if you're specking into Necro and you have to automate still somehow with that i i uh, the way that it is, it's kind of like this just sounds so dumb um and that's kind of why we were kind of sort of keen to change it um but on the other hand um i guess the problem well yeah i mean ultimately the issue there is that you know what happens the, the with battle skills a that's all i really use left click for is battle skills due to the fact that you need to have an extra um, support socket for the most and, part um yeah. you know without if i'm not using bone armor it's really a valve skill so uh well, yeah i do i do stand by the like being able to have it trigger while stationary is an advantage and being able to use multiple is an advantage but of course then we talk about more into socket pressure right using multiple unless you were already using multiple uh you know isn't reasonable for most characters so but yeah and we can talk about all kinds of like what the actual solutions would be but effectively um, from my perspective i come down to if these things are just becoming passive skills 
then why are they not just passive skills? That's what I've kind of come to yeah. recently. Yeah, like, why the fuck is bone armor not a passive these, skill, you motherfucker? Like, why, how is, say, time of need not different from steel skin? I understand one of them is regeneration, and one of them is mitigation, but in the sense that, like, effectively what we're saying, steel skin, molten shell, etc., is, is now every 10 seconds do something for Y seconds. Mm -hmm. which and is then exactly be really vulnerable for the do. one so second, I was thinking, which like, I hate hardcore. We could move a lot of these into passives, uh, and then what we could do is actually take what we originally intended for those skills and design awesome skills that are, because they were intended to be reactionary, mm. and it would be nice to actually... I think if you look at... I'm trying to think of probably every single one of my rip clips. My rip clips always happen in between that in between second where I don't have the debuff because it's on cooldown. Or not the debuff. Or I don't have like molten shell up or I don't have bone armor up. Or I don't have something up right then. Um, not including like flaster down or whatever, but just the buffs, the instant buff is down. She designed that some sucks. stuff that is useful for that. Um, now, obviously, that's a longer discussion. Designing it's the problem I had in last skills, epoch, where totems are, are your resistance. That, so when your totems down, you lose all your resistance. It's so pressure. stupid. And I can at least cover some of them now. Um, yeah. So I'll start with okay, G uh, General's Cry. Obviously nerfed by this, right? It isn't nerfed yep. if you were to use it manually. Um, it is nerfed automated. And when you look at it, no one's using it manually. Everyone's using it automated. <laughs> and when I say everyone, I obviously mean you know the majority of people. So we are buffing General's Everyone. Cry, and we are doing some other things Warcry adjacent, like um, I think there's some inconsistencies on a bunch of unique items which have like casting a Warcry and using a Warcry, and we're making that more consistent um, so that more things work uh, in that regard, but that's there's heaps of little nitty-gritty right. details there. Patch notes will hopefully clarify all that. Um, now, then there's Mines, which is a big one. Yeah. Um, now, mine playstyle, aside from the annoying having it on left click, it going like tink, 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 tink the whole time, and that just being <laughs> irrit irritating, um, it is certainly the case that when it is triggering all the time with a support gem, obviously, if you now want to um, play, have the playstyle of throwing heaps of mines and then moving to detonate them all at once, which is how mines are meant to be played, you could do that before, and now you can't. So to change that, we've added a mastery for mines, which uh, does the exact same behavior as before, which the mastery says your mines will detonate every X milliseconds while moving, and it will occur the moment you start moving from a stationary position. Um, Minus one passive. Now, the other third one I'll get into uh, here is, uh, I guess, uh, bone armor fine. from Necromancer. So, Most uh, motherfuckers are never even hitting armor. level 100 and anyway, so... Some of the nodes around there. Um, so... What have we changed? I'll see if I can remember all the details here. Uh, I think it's mindless aggression. Is a note, all these notables are going to probably get renamed due to the theme change, but I'll use the old names just because that's what everyone will know. Um, yep. So mindless aggression is um, now multiplicative 10% more minion damage and multiplicative 20% more minion life um, instead of the increased damage. Wow. So uh, moving to detonate them all at once, which is wow. how mines are, which the mastery says... Your mines will detonate every, uh, I guess, uh, bone armor from Necrom the moment you start moving from a stationary position. Um, now, the other third one I'll get into here is, uh, I guess, uh, bone armor from Necromancer. So, uh, goodbye bone armor. And we have yes. some of the nodes around there. Um, so, yes. what have we changed? I'll see if I can remember all the details here. Uh, I think it's mindless aggression. Is a note, all these notables are going to probably get renamed due to the theme change, but I'll use the old names just because that's what everyone will know. Um, yeah. So mindless aggression is um, now multiplicative 10% more minion damage and multiplicative 10 uh, 20% more minion life um, instead good. of the increased damage and increased speed. This is possibly worse as a two-pointer at like level 30, but in game wait, far, far, far. Wait, those are the small nodes? Wait, that's better. Output. If those are the small you nodes, that's better. It's slightly worse with spiritual aid, but I think that is that loss is ultimately inconsequential with the other changes here. Um, then there's the four-pointer <clears throat> uh, bone barrier, um, mm -hmm. which we are going to keep the PDR stat and the... Um, uh, Physical damage we, reduction. Oh, okay. What we're doing is we're moving bone armor and we're adding a large amount of minion uh, life is added as extra energy shield, which will increase the minion survivability for the uh, amount lost by bone armor. Um, so 
that mm -hmm. should provide okay. a good mitigation against like well mm -hmm. obviously with the mechanical regens are gonna fuck that up but um, it'll help a lot towards your minions like they take a bit of pit of damage and then they have some time to get it back and you know well, it's not foolproof but that's fine. it's not good um, what you have lost is obviously the bleed removal from them um I deal with it is my answer on that one <laughs> um uh, what we actually did find by the way is a lot of necromancers weren't actually using bone armor and a lot were just using molten shell anyway um uh, so i don't know how much what? that is actually lost um, no shot and 100 percent of us are rant, using bolt because again people want to know about these changes because we're using um, bell and then we're using bone armor because bone armor is better armor. than did molten you change the leech thing or is that yeah so there is a the recovery has gone too i don't misremember exactly um i'll go into the unholy might thing first <laughs> Um, so yes. Unholy Might, we are actually changing what Unholy shit. Might does, uh, which is better for summoners Delete in some regards, shit. but more so poison summoners, and better for everyone else in many regards. So Unholy Might now is 100% of physical converted to chaos, as well as, mm. a, uh, I think it's 25% chance to apply wither on hit. Um, so oh. hopefully that is uh, enabling a lot more different unique okay. items. Log in! And all of that throughout the game. Um, but also poison That's summoners. crazy! Uh, very... Uh, don't also now have to use a wither setup, and so they get some yeah. things there, I suppose. But you know, that's not exactly necessarily going to be a meta build. Um, Never uh, in sleep, go we fuck have yourself. We don't need you anymore. We also don't need holy might to monsters, and that we also don't need withered support. We get an extra support gem now. Chaos immunity against monsters, and that was a little bit busted with. <laughs> you know, worm Bro, why is he doing this after I played SRS? I don't want to play SRS again, but SRS seems broken. Bro, we get an extra support gem. We get just a whole extra support gem. That's so crazy. Flask shenanigans, so um anyway, that's been and they're dealing more damage and, and uh they're 100% chaos, we, we and they have a wither, with and we get a support gem. I we um, stuck with it, but I think we had nice. a 1% um, uh, of damage dealt by minions as leech to you as life, replacing the recovery on um, uh? Bone Barrier as well. But I think we had nice. a... Um, uh, and... Uh, I can't remember. We we were experimenting with some leech. I can't remember if we um stuck with it, but I think we oh had Oh my a, god, um, he doesn't know if it's in or uh, not. 1% of damage dealt by minions is leech to you as life, replacing the recovery on... Um, I almost threw up on my mouth. Well, that's the most that's that's broken, disgusting thing I've ever heard in my entire life. life. What? I will double check that and I will post that afterwards just in case because we went through like 50 iterations that's here. crazy you know, if he added that. We're at somewhere. So... That leaves one major problem, which is the socket pressure, especially on summoners. Nah, it's gone. And we are actively with discussing SRS, um, solutions with poison to that minions. one. I think where we are currently landing is that we want to have um, corruption implicits possibly on all the different minion uh, base types. So bone ring, um, the bone shield, and the weapon, minion weapons, which grant various different skills like Invoking convocation, uh, the offerings, uh, desecrate. Um, I know a lot of people end up just auto casting uh, desecrate and offerings with the wand, but for people mm -hmm. who don't have this, this that's good. And at the very least, generally convocation is unlinked. Um, we might even do the golem skills as corruptions too. I'm, I'm a bit iffy on that one, so I know I generally I shouldn't say things what that is, we're not what definitely are the, doing. But, what, what, what are we um, talking about here? Speaking I'm not on that one. So totally... hopefully that is at least a temporary solution to alleviate some socket pressure. But we probably do need to do more. But doing more in the next week when is, you corrupt, you, know, you just have a chance to kind of hard. So I would look forward get to these skills, seeing more of that in the future. Uh, but that's where we're at with that, pretty much. Um, <laughs> big rant. It's like yeah. This uh, automation change kind of revealed just how much of a like very potent band aid the left click automation was because it's opened up this whole can of worms. Wait, so like, um, for can I not? Is the automation craft on the wand gone? Like, can I not auto? Uh, bone offering anymore? Do I have to put bone offering and desecrate and automation together? So I'm gonna lose determination in my wand. Uh. Of being like, well, it it's exposed how these skills designs are all a bit problematic. You know, these ones that encourage you to have them just up all the time, cast off cooldown, is. These are things that potentially need to be readdressed, right? 
Uh, for sure. Like, I mean, this does happen a lot. I mean, if you even if you look at the Pantheon change, which is one of the first quality of life things we I announced, don't think the... Like, um... You know, it's like, well, we're going to change this Pantheon thing. Like, surely that's good for everyone, not having... To... Man, thinking more about the Necro stuff. So, ne ne they are nerfed. Oh, man, they are nerfed. In that you're losing 25% more damage. Um... And you're losing attack speed, so you can't apply more stacks of poison. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to look at like the numbers on that. See if it's, it's actually. Like, but but now I don't nerfed. want to always have chill effect on and all this, and we're just looking at these things going. Pantheons equals positive. Maybe I play ranged animate weapon. All these niche builds and Johnny builds that end up with. Poison range upsides enemy weapon. and turning them into they become downsides and so now we have to adapt another thing like often what happens is um, yeah. we change a system that we entirely think is positive um and yes either because we've uh, not given it enough time internally or because again it's very hard for even a hundred people to find things as quickly and as actively as the many hundreds of thousands of people um and so yeah we find that there are things we then need to do afterwards to fix. So obviously, we address the Pantheon thing by allowing you on a character-by-character -character basis to um, then disable and enable uh, the uh, Pantheon upgrades um, mm. to fix a bunch of niche builds. Um, but yeah, with a game as like, like expansive as part of Exile with all the millions of different builds, it is pretty hard to change anything without affecting something. Um, and in this case, it was just we made a change that affected a lot more than we had originally thought about and yeah we're doing a lot of solutions here but there is certainly need for a much grander solution when it comes to that left click thing but i think where we're at right now is probably pretty good um i am never ever going to be happy with the fact anyone feels like they need they need to do some sort of numlock shenanigans there probably is a unique um, for that whatever but the crazy strategies it's are not gonna be not good. okay and as such we need to if that is still happening we need to still fix more yeah yeah when there's like know. one of these things where you change something and it's like this will be good once we get these other things the leech the, the line, man i do you feel that sounds crazy to though the leech on the change if minions leech health for you well, i think I, I, um, that's crazy sometimes, but i think in this case i think we're in i think the lesser evil has been in a met, boss fight where and your I minions that it is if you have them like predators one um, especially with us fixing all those actual... And they're just 100% uptime hitting the boss. ...actual nerfs that occurred as a result of it. Sure, you just 100% have leech covered, at all but, times. Um, I think the other ones are nowhere near as consequential, um, and I do think it will actually play relatively well. Uh, but yeah, in some cases, yeah, we I'm sitting there like, okay, do we revert that, or do we, you know, aim to get all the fixes in? We're generally pretty fast with reacting to things like this. We generally can make changes pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, it is a hard decision mm, to make. It doesn't sure. sound like it um, does. Like you definitely lose sleep over that one. Um, but like those, that's what we do. It's basically and, barren. Um, often as, as like, it's at actually all times for all responding minions. to this one has actually been fun in at least a development sense, because it is promoting a bunch of these other changes that have been like, honestly needed for a while. Yeah. Um, like, especially when it comes I to the soccer know. pressure thing, like it is honestly unacceptable that we have not really addressed that in quite some time. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I ideally, I, I can't promise by the end of next week we have the right answer, and I can't promise we're necessarily going to do something. But it is certainly something we are actively going to. Okay, dis we so have been actively discussing we, this might change before the release the of this game. This stream is finished. Um, I, uh, yeah, like I said, it was it was such an effective ban. Okay, what? How would I fix this? I'm trying to think. Automation skill gem is good. If it replaces stuff like mana forged arrow, right? That automates it when you use a skill. But now if it's just always going off with automation, that's good. That's a good change. It's bad for anything that's an instant skill, though. Um, it's also bad if... Those mana, if using that instead of mana forge makes you stand still to cast it, or if it just fires off you in like an instant skill, then it's good. How do you fix the instant thing without removing socket pressure? Um, 
my initial thought was a mod on an item, but then you're you're removing mods, mod pressure. Um, Eldridge implicits? No, it can't be a unique. Uniques are bad. Yeah, maybe an Eldridge implicit where socketed skills... Maybe it's like the first tier is so one socketed skill is automated and then like as you go up the tiers of Eldridge implicits to exceptional and whatever, um, it's like two, three, and then it's like what slot you put it in in your socket, that one becomes automated. Um, yeah, we have trigger, but we automation where it's always going. Just boom, 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 boom. Um, yeah. So it could be that maybe Eldridge implicits or um, synthesis, like implicits or something. This weapon or this gear piece has automation or something like that. This could be a fix. Make it a corrupted mod or something. I think that's a pretty okay fix. You're ta you're cutting the the only persons you're the only people you're the only persons. The only people you're affecting with that would be like the top one percenters that are making perfect mirror tier items. Um, won't have as good of items, but for the 99.9% .9 of the community, um, this would work. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I I don't know how else you would do it. Um, a mastery or something on your tree that when you spec the mastery, it's like the automation mastery and it's in the center. Put it like where Scion is so like anyone can reach it. Um, and it's like the five masteries are like, if you master this one, you're boots are automated if you do this mastery your gloves are automated if you do this one your you know weapon body armor helmet um yeah he yeah he said the mastery thing for the mines and stuff but not yeah i don't know i maybe that's it maybe a mastery for just your piece of armor is automated so everything in it um so you'll be losing skill points for it. Um, but yeah, like I was saying earlier, most people don't even get level 100 anyway, so it's not like they have skill point pressure. Um, yeah, well, it's whenever you move, so you can throw like 30 of them down, then move and they'll all trigger. Um, so you could mines will mines work one hundred percent the way they did before, except you have to waste one passive point on it to make it like it was before. Um, bone armor is completely gone, and maybe replaced. I think the energy shield is bullshit. I think that's dog shit. They'll never get their energy shield back in time between packs. You'll you'll need to get like energy shield leech or something um, for them. Something make their energy shield go back up. Because once they sit in a degen, they're never getting the heal back. Um, the bleed immunity thing is rough. I think, um, I think minion builds are going to have to spec into minions don't take bleed damage while moving and stuff. Yeah, I don't know. And we're losing the specters. Um, man, yeah, we lost our new specters too. Uh, fuck. Yeah, I, I think it's a coin toss whether. And that like ripping it off now is like allowed you to kind of get to the meat of some of these problems. 
which yeah. uh, I'm excited to see what you do with these like skills that gonna are going to be a coin flip this design where they were just chucked on left click because hopefully we get some more much more interesting skills out of it down the line as a result yeah I agree oh there's I mean already I have a, a lot of cool ideas it's just a matter of now like, finding the resources to get them all in and whatnot it can't be through <laughs> unique item it can't so, be so uh on the since we're on the quality of life topic something that bugged me quite a bit lately is getting attacked while talking to npcs especially in affliction i didn't end up i thought of it i i have it i have it i have it i have it this is what it is you sock it you pull out your gem and there's a there's a essence or there's a a, a currency there's something that you can get like a, a tailoring orb, and you click it on the gem, and it says this gem is now automated. That's it. That's the solution. And you can upgrade gems and put it behind like a Uber or some shit. And then it's just an automated thing. It doesn't take up skill pressure, and it's an added new currency behind one of the new Ubers. Getting through all the laws. Yep, put it behind one of the new Uber fights. But, uh, in well, the not Uber fights, the T-17 fights. I don't fights. Know if you ended up using a different version, but the uh, player had the issue of like clicking that. to the that nameless seer and getting attacked by a mob. Have you guys considered using pause tech to pause the game during NPC conversations? Yes, why? This needs to be a thing. Or maybe other solutions, like making Not pause tech, but like a grace. Just give us grace. Um, I would say yes, at least in the con especially in the context of POE two, which does have pausing. Yeah, um, POE two has all this already. Sure we just need um, we need grace. Oh, he's doing it again. Uh, context of POE two, which does have pausing. Um, is there any actual reason we can't add pausing to POE one? Oh, oh, he's doing. <laughs> Ziggy, unprofessional. Uh, probably not. Uh, Maven, Maven's game. You'll be able to pause Maven's game. Like I, I know it's kind of been one of those things that we've. Uh, sorry, <laughs> it's one of those things that like we kind of did, and then we're like, well, I, I don't know. I'd, I'd have to talk to Reese and find out uh, what limitations there were. We certainly Let were scared talk. by it um uh when we first added it. It's like this is going to break so much shit, but then it, it didn't really in POE two, so maybe it. Yeah, I'm work. pretty sure. I'm. I'm... I can't see any obvious reason why it wouldn't be able to be ported over. Relative, uh, you never know. Uh, be some... Automated gems, automated transfigured gems. Um, they would have to be weaker than the base. Yeah, the base skill would almost never ever get used unless it was way stronger. Um, I, I guess that could be it. Transfigured versions of these, but then we're just back to the old system, and it's like, why even do it? Because every single person is going to be running this. Why even make any of this change? It, it would, it, it would be just revert it, revert the. Well, yeah, yeah, it would only work on instance, but who cares? It, you might as well just revert the change. Um, if you're going to do that, because then it's working the exact same way. It's just nerfed. Yeah, I don't think that's it. It would solve the issue 100% doing transfigured gems like that. But then it's like, there's no point to any of the changes they made. It You're basically exactly where you were before. Yeah. I think the sword gem is a good temporary solution. Um, but they need to figure out a way. I th I think the mods on the item is a the second best. No, the mods on the item is like the first best solution. Like with Eldridge things or something. And then the next best is probably the currency, like a tailoring orb or whatever that you put on your gems that turns them automated and just make it rare. Or like you can only have one equipped at a time or something. Um, then masteries. Then I guess transfigure gems, but then it's like, what's the point? Yeah, I don't... Well, not for 
for softcore or not for for trade, yeah. But or for um SSF I mean, but in trade you'll just buy your automated gem the second you get there. Um I mean day one, I guess not. But like once we're in like day seven, they'll be a hundred percent available. Um I'm, I'm shocked there's no lab rework. I'm surprised they, that was my one thing I thought they would do, and there's no lab rework. Something, yeah. but it's probably something we can work around. Right, right. I mean, the thing that does suck a little bit about pausing during NPC conversations, though, is that um, there's various triggers that occur, and um, so it won't. If we just enabled it like that, like it would break stuff like the Fairgraves quest, um, and like things like that. Like there, there's a, there's there are some things that would break if we did that immediately, but like it's the kind yeah, of thing we, we, could we would have do. to find a way to be able to pause. Uh, or like opt into pausing on some and not on others. Oh, because also the, the fight wouldn't trigger while you're in the conversation, but um, the conversation yeah. needs to happen like for the fight to trigger. The way, probably... the way our pausing works I was thinking right about what, why, what they meant by that. Pause for it to be paused. So, so it would just have to be a timer. I mean, technically, in multiplayer, release after you, five seconds. Proximity like that, yeah. you can just be like, defend me to your friend, I suppose. But mm. they might just run off and start right. trying to. I think the solution to this is not pause. It's just grace. Give us grace. Let us beat. Let them beat the shit out of us and be completely surrounded. Just give us eight seconds of grace, or whatever the time is when you enter a map. Um, if we click away, the grace goes away. Yeah. I'm gonna loop some stuff and leave you to die. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I guess the counter argument is like, you know, what about things like having safe zones? It will pause the whole party if everyone pauses. I have yet to find mini games that don't end up just having exploitative cases around that. Um, and that would be a lot more actual work, you know. What about the untargetable buff, untargetable buff on the player while you're using, while they're talking yep, to the NPC? That, but it's right the there. whole like, um, I'm in a map and Alva's there, and yeah. like, oh no, I'm gonna die or something, so or like, I just want to reprieve, and I just I mean, go and like click Alva, and then I'm like, oh, phew, I'm safe now, and then I get in a world like, where people can log out. How is that like, like problematic? <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, but it feels like, well, at least logging out has a cost to the portal, right? Like, I, I mean. <laughs> It isn't quite the same. Maybe um, the first time you click but on in them, the sense that, like, or something. It feels exploitative. Ziggy, when logging fight out harder. Not. Like it feels like I'm cheesing some <laughs> mechanic that's unintended for that. Like yeah, I would want to do a solution I, that again I, I feels counter like argue. I counter argue that comment because I think logging out feels exploitative. You know, whereas I know you one hundred percent is you with a bubble because they have NPC right. magic. I'm like that seems like an in-game thing. Like that I, seems right. reasonable. I, I I I buy that, but also logging out in Poe two, of course, um, will log you back right back. Oh into yeah, what you no, were, but... be careful now because Love you're going to get us talking into changing how logout works. <laughs> <laughs> remove it. Remove the logout change. Remove it. I'm okay I, I, with I have to losing say, I have it. With period two. I, I love the that. lag thing the, isn't a um, super issue you anymore nowadays. Exactly where you were when it really isn't. Or something. Or the whole yeah, reason yeah. logout um, was okay was and everything was because of desync and lag. But for the most well. part, I don't really run into that <laughs> issue anymore. Uh, yeah, at least you could log back into exactly yeah. where you were. Just continue. Last month, month there was like that yeah. one week where the servers were bad. I haven't had the problem since. Right. Sorry. I played it's last night. It was fine. The solution to your problem is what I'm saying. Right. And pausing might be one <laughs> of them. And otherwise, we'll find. We'll, we'll I think grace is a good thing. Some other solution. Like there will be. We have logout. Like, just it give has us come grace. Up quite a bit recently, just because of the scope of POE two. And generally, when we're discussing that stuff, we do also think, well, if this is a problem in POE one as well, like just give us grace. Doing? Like let's fix it. A uh, so fuck ton of people are gonna rip at some point. Quinn and Ziz are gonna rip to this. A bunch of people are gonna rip in maps or in campaign to this. Which was the uh, just give us grace. Ashling crafting change. So we've been wanting itemized Ashling crafts for quite some time, which is pretty awesome that we're getting that now. But it's uh, it seems strange to me that it was at the cost of the current uh, veiled orb chaos style effect. That especially hmm. was a really nice like um, I almost never used crafting it. option for a lot of players. So to have that, I almost seems never like used it as a. You had the you know the more random but more accessible version versus Ashling's much more deterministic but you know more expensive more costly version. So it's basically why did you the exact same the thing. Regular veil effect. I mean, it's not. I wouldn't say the intentions to just get rid of things, but I also because what before it would be. You would make your item. It would be fifty percent done. You would lock your prefixes or whatever. Hopefully, you had a good suffix in there. Then you would Alva it and hope that you, well, no, you wouldn't care about the suffix because the suffix would disappear. So you would 
just re-roll everything and hopefully you got a good suffix with your betrayal mod. Um, but now it's the exact same thing up until the point where you flip it. And if you don't have any suffixes, it will eat your... It'll, it'll always eat the can't be modified thing and give you one. So you want, huh? So you want two. You want at least two suffixes when you do it, because then it'll eat. You have a chance to eat the bad suffix and not your, um, can't be modified one. Or you don't have a bad one. You you'll put a good one on, so you'll have two good ones. Two good suffixes and the can't be rolled, and then you'll uh, veiled orbit, and hopefully it eats the can't be the prefix can't be modified one, and you keep your good one and you get the betrayal mod. That's probably the only real. It seems better than no. Doesn't that just seem a little bit better? Because you're it's a little bit less. It's a little bit more deterministic and a little bit less RNG. Um, because you're not completely RNGing your suffix, you're just partially. Uh, you're just 50 50 ing it now, whether it all well, 50 50 or I guess you could have two, right? You could have all three. Yeah, I guess you could have three suffixes when you do it too. Let's make it a 33% chance. Um, Yeah, so it went from like a completely random suffixes to a 33% chance to get what you want. Not what you want, but what a, the good option of it just takes the prefixes can't be changed thing. And not the, uh, it takes the benchcraft off, so what I should be saying. It takes the benchcraft and not the already, you're already two good suffixes. Um but you'll brick your item once you get that on there because you can't remove it. You'll have to annul the item if you get six mods on there because that's the only... Oh. Will you be able to... Oh, man, you'll have to annul the Betrayal mod, right? Because you can't Veiled item a Veiled item? It won't work? Or it'll all, maybe it'll now it'll always remove the Veiled item. I don't know. Anyways, I kind of don't see it as a loss to be about. able to kind of... Um, where My possible not so to retain every single so little crafting thing. I would say that the crafting is super hard. at this point like quite bloated in a sense of like it is quite hard for a, for someone who isn't reading into and studying profusely to uh, figure out exactly how to craft the best item. And that's yeah, not I mean, necessarily uh, what a problem, I just explained is like just a to remove small part of crafting in this game. At some points is a win, especially if we can find a way to bring it back into the game a different way that feels a bit more core and fundamental. And maybe you'll find that with, say, the Necropolis crafting system. Like, that is, in theory, a start to end game meant to be crafting. You can do crazy stuff at the end. You can do really simple stuff uh, mid-game, early game. And then, obviously, when we then go to say, is this coming core? Like, are we... How do we want to do it? If we want to do it, maybe it's absolutely... This is not going so core. I can already tell you this we'll, is not we'll going core. But there's always more crafting things we're adding like this not, is never ever you don't going have for. a shortage of different crafting things in the game like it's certainly yeah. um a little it's bit it's never ever ever in a good going way for. and in sometimes a bad way um and more are going to come so i wouldn't worry about losing something like that in the Bring short Toto term back. especially we don't when, need Toto back uh, we have uh you only need to wait the, a little uh, for things like that back. to come back and, and there we have are always just so many other ways to craft your items oh um, my god i, I don't just, think i just that. thought about it again we have our fucking Tattoos back. Oh my god. Oh, we have tattoos back. Oh, that seems that so fucking good. Fundamental. And the win oh, of having so good. be tradable is huge. Um, that should have been the much, thumbnail of the video. Uh, tattoos are back. Trying my best to get around as many of the, uh, like, you know, services as opposed to yeah. trades. Um, yep. We're like doing I said, a lot. One league off. As much as possible. They actually like, broke I... the rule on this because we got wisps back too. Um, I didn't expect them to do that, but they did. And I eventually want to make sure we add a thing where 
for even mirroring items, even though that's like the, the nichest of the niche in the game. You know, we're talking about, you know, the side view. I've I do never want it to be item. that, you know, there is a way that you can do that never. without having to trade your well, item to someone. So the there are a few designs there mirror, even. But... And, you know, like we will, well, hopefully we will eventually get rid of as much of that as possible, especially when it comes to trusting someone with your item. I don't mm -hmm. like that at all. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll hopefully work around, but you know, obviously like services like boss kills and all of that, there's not really a lot you can do about that. Um, that's completely fine. But, um, when it comes He's to actually like about loaning TFT. someone your item, I'm, I'm certainly not kind of in favor of that thing. And, uh, so yeah, hopefully we can see the removal of the rest of those in due time. Um, but yeah. Yeah. I'm super keen on those changes. The, um, so if the if the thinking is to kind of like slim down on some bloat, I certainly don't disagree that like the trades the crafting system might have like a bit much going on. I mean, is it um, less bloated? I think in this particular instance, the reason why you've seen this reaction to oh, it is this particular farm one little and not just the bloat. The sub it was actually kind of uh, like used in almost every mid level craft. So Katarina's such an easy fight, except for that slam. Ah, oh, that slam is so fucking deadly. I just, I can't react to it in time. And if you try and log it, there's a chance your log doesn't go off. And you're just dead. She slams you during the log. It's, ah. It feels a little bit jarring to uh, say it removed, I guess. Um, Fair enough. And I guess the answer there is, uh, A, Necropolis will provide a, one of the most in-depth crafting systems we ever have. And you could argue yeah. about Standard League, but... I, mean, I love that. Me, personally, I love my that. My answer, again, there is deal with it. They streamline um, two things, and they give us a bunch of other things that systems aren't and streamlined. More new things I love and more that shit. Things, so. um, I'm not going to lie. I'm super excited about the Necropolis crafting. Uh, it was so I crafting. am not I excited for it. I don't think like, it's going to be that good. have to do like some sort of crafting league this time. I feel like it's the only answer to like the... <laughs> Why are they base it? Uh... A Necropolis will provide a, one of the most in-depth crafting systems we ever have, and you could argue about Standard League, but I mean, you know, I, my answer again there is deal with it, um, and then nice. later on deal there will it. be more crafting Lock systems up. and more new things and more interesting things. So, I'm um, not gonna lie, I'm super excited about the I, Necropolis crafting. Uh, I, I, I'll just, just have to be up. proven the wrong. It doesn't look league, good to like, me. You guys have to do like some sort of crafting league this time. I feel like it's the only answer to like the whiplash of. <laughs> previous league so let's let's talk a bit about that actually so i mean Affliction wisps was, are still kind uh, of in a lot of people's potential favorite league maybe mine um was certainly extremely rewarding uh why do you think it was so popular and were you worried i about really liked like the mechanic of this going around after, like, i liked the atlas the things effectively um, um the wisps or whatever why do we think I could do so without popular? the wisps? I mean, obviously, I mean, at the start, I like the mechanic in it. It wasn't everything. in so many yeah. ways. Um, sure. It was certainly too difficult. We certainly yeah, people up a fucking bit there. hated the difficulty. Um, in the beginning. Once things Remember were the kind of fixed and once people kind of got their heads around or you know around the difficulty, uh, of once you went to handle the difficulty. Ah, uh, if you went to college and got your uh, did your thesis in diamond theory, the wildwood became much much easier. So I spent the day getting my PhD thesis on uh Yes, it became Diamond Theory. Magic Find Ruckus League. <laughs> um, it was good. The, why was it popular? I mean, it was different. It's not something we had done before in so many regards. It was using yes. um, new art. Diamond and, Theory was so had, helpful. I had bosses. Once you realized like, stuff, where you were so and kind of the exact arts, path you needed to take, um, existing so you got three of them it, like 100% the elements, of the time and, and sometimes you get four. Detail. Their sentency classes. I mean, if you got the extended like that, but wisps, ultimately, yes, we can um, just go to the magic. Very, point. very helpful. Um, I'll tell you, I've never had that experience before. I've never, I've never, you know, been to the point where, well, not quite like this, where really it feels like the only thing left on the filter is uh, unique leather belts and uh, unique no, heavy belts and a couple other things. And there's still too many belts to try, and I like you're still <laughs> just like, oh my god, there are freaking belts everywhere. It was um, so it weird. Was a bit too far. Um. So I was playing last night, uh, like I said, I was getting challenges done, and the, like, uniques were dropping, and I was like, oh, shit, a new unique, and I, I was in the last epoch mindset of, oh, it's a unique, I should check to see if it has legendary potential, and I kept looking, I was like, oh, is this a unique I'm gonna want, and then I looked at it for a second, I was like, wait, what the fuck am I looking at this, this isn't a headhunter, and I just kept moving. Um, uh. I, it yeah. Was, yeah. <laughs> I mean, even just from a server perspective, uh, 
the the uh, the level of the number no. like the number of players we could get on a on a, on a server per per uh, uh, the, per server this league was uh, much lower than Ooh. it has. Um, tell you rebuke. I figured out why all my characters are dying. Um, it's gonna be in the video, but I'll say now, rebuke is bugged. It doesn't work, or the skills with it don't work. So, uh, but yeah, I figured out why all of my characters it's die. They all died the exact and, same uh, thing. Even that was a bit of a started to become a bit of a problem. Like my yeah. Uh, yeah. So the primary issue <laughs> there is actually what happens is when monsters stay alive longer because affliction was making things last yep. while my, live longer, they are yep. getting hit more. And when a monster is alive, they cost more than when they're dead. And so the moment, <laughs> and then obviously when you've got a Stygian spire spewing out 700 monsters a, a second, yep. um, combined with like, you know, the 12, 50% increased attack speed, soul leaders and all of that, you know, like you are, nothing, nothing can survive that level of absolute mayhem, um, as in hardware wise. Um, so, but yes, uh, it, there is going to be a bit of a detox. Um, you degree. fuck them. But on the other hand, we have sh changed a lot in the end game to the point where hopefully the meta is so different that it kind of just feels. I think the meta is going to be so different. Necessarily, like less or worse. It's going to be whiplash um, and trying to figure I'll out your bearings. And um, I'm keen for people's feedback. Um, so yeah, I don't know if it's uh, it's fifty fifty. If this is going to be better or the worse. amount of uh, like obviously if, if you were to farm uh. Mage Bloods, Headhunters, etc. via divination cards. Um, it's better, like, right? There is a somewhat reliable way to get that. You get your doctors, you get your apothecaries and whatnot. I think and you saw the I'm new farming um, divination card scarabs, this league. obviously. That's we're what I'm doing. Embracing That's my goal. That. We're not changing anything around that. Because I want the but auto bomber. One thing that, that I do answer. consider problematic, and we have made changes around, is stack decks. So stack decks, uh, a lot of those stack uniques dicks. are coming from stack decks. Oh, the chat said it right and when so I did. And so we have actually made some changes where uh, the league rewards of various leagues, especially the ones that were quite uh, high, so stuff like Tujin and a few, few other leagues, we have cut back on the amount of stack decks they're giving. Remove um, stack that, decks. Okay, Just like, remove oh, them. Wow, nerf mo my fun stack decks. To compensate for that, and what it has allowed us to do is we have actually multiplied the drop rates of your mage blood, your headhunters, etc., by two and a half times from world drops <laughs> what? And the intention there is that you are seeing more from actual drops Bro, what? From stack deck spam and we've kept stack deck it was certainly on the chopping block um it was uh i know what? i know you were gunning for stacks deck like you were all <laughs> to get that thing out but it's, i think a lot of the reason stack deck you could have removed i would have been fine with it and you didn't getting, need to add um, 2.5 uh, times for um for, for bosses multiplier boss on fucking actually, actually not any mage blood uh we have changed which yeah, i mean it's true that uh which i don't know if people saw but stack decks cannot yield divination cards that would give items yes. from exclusive bosses anymore yeah, oh yeah i forgot about a, that that's right that's right that sucks, good that, you know yes like, you you want the exclusive items to some extent to mm -hmm. to to yes that's to bullshit like, okay, that you, you were able to do that before that this guy complete bullshit item, you know. buck stack there are some decks. corner cases like you know, the gambler and the void that we're doing some specific handling around, but um in general you should be seeing a lot less like random. Mm, you could still get them through void before anyone's uh, even killed Uber Shaper kind of thing. Um right. and okay. also you, you, obviously you've okay. still got the Voidborn case that will yield it. You've got uh Valdo's maps which will yield what I don't like people that people have chosen to give there, which is probably just a bunch of mage blood mage blood still. <laughs> um but uh yes, ultimately okay. yeah, we want to see a lot more of those drops come from uh, actually killing monsters and from farming divination cards the way we intended. I had some horrendous all those maps. Counter, as opposed last to just mass stack deck farming on, like a, on a mass level gambles and like specific leagues. Um, I hope that is received positively, belts. of course, because I genuinely believe it is better. But um, uh, let us know. We'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we have a little bit of time to make some changes there if needed. It sounds insane. Right on, right on. Because they're 2.5 times more, or less rare, or more drop rate. I don't know how the fuck you say that. And you could do the divination card, which, or you can do the scarab, which drops divination cards for your favored maps. So you could run Crimson Temple and have it as your favored map with the divination scarab. 
And I guess since they're not tiers anymore, you can run multiple of the same scarab. So you could also run the full stack. So you can have a chance to get a full stacked 20% increase, 2.5 times mage blood while you're running it. Um, yeah, that seems crazy. Yeah, their opinions on that one. Man, what I a mean, league for me to farm a headhunter. Uh, I, I like the idea of boss drops coming from the bosses. <laughs> hey, and not just right. from. Keep in mind, I said I was going to farm the headhunter before we watched this. Yeah, you might have so, to we'll see. <laughs> this is actually so crazy. Chat, so. It seems like okay. mostly positive. After I'm like... Positively received. You can like crazy. Feel a oh, sigh, sigh of relief, perhaps. Oh, yeah. <laughs> W's in chat. So I think everyone agrees that Affliction was like probably a bit crazy. On the it was too much. It was too much. Dropping and everything like that. And I must say, like, I played the most I've ever played this league. And um, I was getting to the point, like, in that two months phase where I was, like, doing things. And I've never played this much in a league before. I was playing last night. I just, I logged in and I was like, I want to, I just, I need to play. I just, I don't want to play Last Epoch anymore. I want to play again. And I, I had to stop myself. I was like, you just ran 150 altars <laughs> in, like, three hours. Stop playing. You're going to burn yourself out. But I, oh man, I, I got a challenge done. Oh, I want to uh, play. Creating builds and doing content that I just hadn't done before. Oh, also, I, I can't go for experience. runs or anything because it's fucking raining. The overall economy, I expected the weather turned the so was, bad this week. Ruined, but so upset. Because that term gets thrown around a lot when an, an economy is different. But the net, the like end result. And it's a sixty degree really weather, seventy degree weather. People. Now it's raining like, again. Sure, some things Back like down if you were 50s. trying to compete with Bullshit. the giga juices for the items that they were trying to buy, like their bows or whatever, then yeah, you were having a hard time. But for the most part, a lot of stuff was really accessible and it felt like a really fun league in that regard. And that was actually the biggest, I think, contributor to why it was such a fun league for myself and I think many others. Do you have any thoughts on that and like that economic shift and other ways that that could be captured? I mean, I love it. I love how the economy goes wild based on the content we add. Um, it's always interesting to watch and whatnot. Um... I wouldn't say I have any strong feelings one way or another, but I, I wouldn't say it's like our, I just want to note, it's not like our intention to, you know, get away from that specifically or do anything one way or another. Like we liked these things happening organically. We like the community figuring out how to get around that and utilize it. And yeah, I agree. It ended up being completely fine and honestly, completely mm. fun. Um, maybe yeah. not everyone agrees. Maybe there are a lot of people who are like, no, it was too hard. And I felt like everyone else got ahead of me. We don't know too much about that but i mean the league's ending now anyway so what happened happened um but, but yeah, I, I, mean, I do agree at least i played a lot my friends played a lot like we I, yeah i can't it. believe i played this much people here were playing I think a lot I played for and two and a half months only positivity coming from and uh, i like, still logged in know, like every other day of the very early in the league where we had some misbalance like the positivity for affliction was very high um it's actually making me think like a little bit more about how we can find some way to make some of it core but i don't quite mm. know how to do that just yet i mean i don't know if you saw i mean some of it's core in there but one of the keystones has the whole like when there's less than 50 monsters remaining your map boss is empowered by wisps um, yeah. i don't know if it was in the live stream i can't remember how so many, many wisps? things going on um but um that's like kind of one way at least for now it's scary but, mod though there's i almost never did bosses there. when there's i had good, uh like I mean, the Wisps. bosses the, and the ascendancies the and stuff first, are interesting. Then I would do the it's Wisps. just it actually is one of the more complicated ones, especially when you consider the ascendancies and stuff, to try and even think how to put that into core. Well, I was running like, That's a lot of character power. Um, and you, yeah. like, like, I don't know if we will do that, but and ideally, even just the. Oh, yeah, backpack's gone. Magic finding kind of part of it with some regulation to some degree would be fun to add. But I mean, who's to say the current league isn't going to end up having. Sure, it won't be a magic finding one so much, but with all the crafting and whatnot, it's probably heavily... It's kind of magic you know, finding. The, the you can get magic find on the... the uh, well, so. I think it's really relieving to hear as a player that you guys are like... Magic find still like exists not 100% of the, the time, but it like, still exists I think the for some of the crafts or some of the, with, like, you know, the lanterns. Like, I've seen sort of quantum uh, stuff. It's not ideal, but some of the mods you can roll. Something we really enjoyed, but there's this perception that you guys at GGG are sometimes a little bit grinchy about this stuff where you're like, you know, we don't want you to have items and currency. So it's good to hear that. I mean, it's more I am, play I am playing the game every league till <laughs> high end game and mostly to level 100, and I am 
farming all these things like i'm not sitting there going like damn i don't want all this currency like what i what i don't what i don't like is when you like press alt in the game and you get disconnected from yes. the server or like yes. random stuff like that you know what i mean oh. like i don't want it to technically it's break crazy. uh so yeah yeah I, I'd, I'd say one big shift like just talking about the playing the game here and like i, I do want to understand like a lot of what all these qol changes are a lot of what we're doing a lot of what more will be done um and I think a lot of what is coming in Necropolis League uh, with respect to the, especially all the in-game changes is a resultant of our team playing the game it, and I can listening tell. a lot more. <laughs> you um, guys have been playing last, the game because like, we did these changes. <laughs> yeah, we, we started, so I mean, the, the whole sextant thing is just like, get me away from this. And I'm in in-game going <laughs> yes. like, okay, I've just allocated this this tree. I don't, I'm like, damn, I don't want to play this anymore. And then I'm like, I don't want to have to respec all this, and then it might be wrong again. I want to explain. I was respecing last night like, because I completed the expedition, the so I was like trying to spec like, off the expedition stuff for like quants and stuff. Trading, which we know is a flawed system currently, and we've spoken about trading a lot and how we are going to improve it POE2 and then looking at POE1 around that in the future. But like, I'm sitting here trying to buy unmaking orbs, having the don't most frustrating talk time to me about POE2. ever just because no one's replying to <laughs> it's me. It's literally not coming until 2025 now. I know the pain. And then. I'm like, okay, we need some sort of like Atlas tree loadouts or something like that. Like we need to find a way to to have this so that I can play the end game the ways I want. I'm surprised that uh, I really and thought this comes when into they another said thing, which is like, okay, like wandering path, Atlas um, tree, you know, or the I want to play tree, the end game my way. But if wandering path is I thought it was going to be for strong, then I'm tree. not playing it my way. I'm playing it the way that the meta tells me I have to, because it is too powerful. And so. You know, there's things like that where that's that comes as where we why we've removed the number of keystones and whatnot is because it feel if you feel like you have to do something. And so you could argue, okay, we'll nerf the value. Well now I don't want to do it at all. So what's the point in it existing? Well, if the keystone then buff the is value a little bit. binary Find the state perfect of spot. feeling like you have to do it versus nerf and buff, have to nerf do it, and buff until you find it. It. That's the good spot. Generally how I feel about it and add something cooler and better. And the new keystones might end up in the same ballpark. And you know what? Might remove them later and add new ones as well. Um, that's just how it will yeah. be. But yeah, anyway, I don't want it to be that the loadouts are like everyone has tree A, everyone has tree B, everyone has tree C because the it, keystones that's what's gonna happen. mean that you have to do that. Um, it's it's going to happen. If people want to do that because that's like, you know, metas are metas. You can't get around that. But if it's that feeling that of is, I, well, I didn't think this, about that. Everyone's um, going to have their fun tree, their MF tree, and their like. And if it's okay for one league, you have fun. And then map if you feel tree. like you have to do something that isn't enjoyable, go away. I don't want to. Left side of the tree, right side of the tree. You uh, love to hear it. You love to hear seventh it. Seventh gate but tree. I have a follow up question that's completely unrelated. What about <laughs> the rucksack? <laughs> Um, <laughs> look, you're lucky you got it for those three months or four months. <laughs> okay. uh, oh, no. It was so uh, good. I, I, just no, ultimately. Um, you might see it back one day, but like, <laughs> no, you know, no. I'm honestly surprised that Chris was even okay, to even let you do that. I don't think he was okay with it, really. I think I snuck well, you, that you one snuck that one without that. Without a... well, you weren't okay with it either. Like, <laughs> it wasn't okay yeah, with we it. had a massive argument about it. Um, I it was no. so good. I assumed that Chris approved it. <laughs> he might have, I don't remember, but. Um, no, he didn't. Like, anyway, Chris said a hell lot of, of that shit. We do get to try these you got a pay cut months. for that shit. Yeah. You were working we overtime on the week the without any extra about, pay for that. About is that we do oh, reevaluate no. it at the end of that and Chris decide was, are we keeping there's it no not. way in hell he would have ever approved no on that. This one. And, um, you know, like, the good thing is we do, because we have these seasonal cycles, the leagues, uh, we you do guys get sent to, to LA and, and we do get to do something that we're maybe hey, wait, not quite comfortable isn't with this just supposed to really to be, test it. And... Isn't this supposed to be happening in LA? I just thought about all this. Why is any of this ha wait? Why aren't they all in LA right now? I thought all of this was happening then. And in this case, uh yeah nah. It's about that. Wait, what did? <laughs> not, not is that why I Chris mean, isn't here? He's I, the only I, one I that's at. Respect to firm, no, but what? Um, why? What? Why? The convention? Uh, How come? Well, okay. Why? <laughs> not to put him. I'm sorry to put you yeah, on the spot, sorry. but you know, I was okay. Oh, I was on one half of the hang argument. On, hang on, hang on, hang on. So you're you're. 
first of all, oh, no, I don't want to keep it. First, first of all, Mark ultimately gets. I didn't think it. I didn't but think it was time, Pax East, um, but it was. I feel my feeling on this stuff is that I don't like it when you have a build choice that results in inventory oh. space because that kind of thing, like, leads to sort of weird incentives uh, that I don't really love. Like, you know, it's like, Join, I, yeah. if if you have to, it, it's like ah, if, you, if if I have to change my build to get inventory space, that doesn't feel right to me. It's a little bit hard to explain exactly. Oh, why I thought it was happening this week. There's various things from games like that with. I, I oh, do maybe actually I could have actually gone having then. it be on a class is certainly not the right That answer. was weird. Yeah. Um, I also just personally don't about think... Going. I think inventory space limitation is a good thing. Right. I think that pressure is good. And I don't have a or personal maybe it's just problem exclusive with playing streamers. with it. Um, obviously, it's nice to always just have more and more and more and more. Um, but I do think that pressure is interesting. And I do think it is important to have pressure on how much you can pick up and leave a map with. I Especially after Affliction, I was leaving every map with a full inventory going like... Holy, uh, there's more things I want to take and I can't. And literally, there's. Bro, how stuff. bad is that in Last Epoch? When you're in a map and there's stuff that you want to take and you literally just can't. You just can't because you can't portal back out and come back because it'll delete all the items on the ground. Uh, on the ground that was so tilting. But I think that is healthy and good and it makes you make the good decisions. I, um, I don't disagree with that, but I don't think this was actually about the space. The reason why everyone loved the rucksack was that it was a separate space that allowed it right. to be much easier to manage things like your map rolling currency and your scrolls and just that random shit that fills up and clutters your inventory that you constantly have to deal with when you're yep. shifting stuff over to that back and is forth the your whole... stash. There's a real problem there, a quality of life problem that the rucksack inadvertently addressed. And that's why people loved it, I think. I never used uh, it for picking up items, there ever. Are some... It was for my maps, well, least, my okay, scrolls, so is some, my say, skill gem swaps. Maps, for example, um, like there are better solutions to that, I would say, which is like. It's again, not rolling maps. This it's because now it's everyone's going to want it. Rolling it, like, like makes it sound like strong boxes going to happen and, and it isn't necessarily. Uh, but like, essence, surely a like corrupting your essences and to your map device all that, that you can shit open that like, contains there. your fragments and whatnot. I guess you can't put would, you can't put stuff in it and like from the map when you pick it up. I guess. Like, uh, I guess from the, the map, benefit, sure, but yeah. if they're just talking about like you know the 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 whole bringing a bunch into roll all your maps and like it's not just I that. I don't know. There's there's it's like, quite, discuss, but I I, I saw this one on the uh the old quality of life bingo sheet that um <laughs> was there, and I was I have been thinking about trying to find ways to solve that one, and so I'm, I'm hoping that we can find some way to either mitigate a rug or sack that that's not a rug sack. Don't make Again, don't no let us put like but, uh, stuff we you know, items we find in it. Make uh, it just uh, yeah, I don't yeah, know. I can see there being another solution, and I don't know what the solution is. To me, it's not the fact about getting the more inventory space. It's about solving that quality of life issue. Because you can't make it a key vibe because there's so many different currencies that you'd have to yeah, keep on probably like you can't is. keep on an alteration or or keep on in a reasonable time um it's all a resources game at the end of the day so uh look i am keeping an eye on those bingo sheets i am quite tact i'm tactically picking the ones so that we can't complete the bingo can't be completed um keep making them no, bingo not, sheets. Not, not actually but um uh, one thing that is important with a lot of these quality of life, it, we are actually, especially with PoE2's development, we are looking at a lot of these things which have been hard no's. Mark's in a good mood really today, isn't he? Re-evaluating, and it's like, I think PoE2 really has. I'm like, not answering. Just because, like, you'll watch well, the video I think as well. Just like watching like new player experience videos and things like that, and just like looking at all. I'll the talk stuff about it after doing. we finish like, watching it's, this. It's stuff. kind of it's, it's really another shot at like looking at, at all that really core stuff again and think and thinking about it. And, like we often we just don't often think about some of that stuff very often because it's been there for so long. And then, so yeah, just having a chance to like really reevaluate everything really then starts to make you think, well, why is PoE one even like this? Mm -hmm. um, you know, like and it, it makes makes yeah. Like, makes like we um we on Path of Excel two, obviously you have uh, uh I I maybe shouldn't spoil this, but I'm going to. Um, we have on uh, Path of Excel two, we obviously have no more portal scrolls, and I'm not saying that we're doing that in PoE one just yet. However, well, I say just yet, maybe ever. But however, in PoE one, what we are adding, I'm leaning is, forward, and it's come from the bingo sheet. Um, is oh. uh, a bind key to just instantly oh, open a portal I, I just um, that you can bind, and you don't now have to open your inventory to do it. Uh, You're such having, a beautiful bastard, to Mark. Inventory during Please, Last Epoch, so not, good in okay, this. Look, with pausing, that's kind of more acceptable because you can oh. pause, use the portal, and it, you don't risk danger. But messing around with that, I don't care if I have to have the scroll as long as I can really press the goddamn doing. button. And the changes to PoE2 portals is what really made us reevaluate that. So, oh, good. Yes, in 324, uh, we, and I'll we'll do the classic uh, video probably after this or next week or some with us actually showing how it works. 
um, there will be a bind for instantly opening a portal, assuming you have a portal scroll in your inventory. Wait, sick. Wait. Yeah. Love to hear it. All right. That's fantastic. Wait, um, wait, wait, wait. I thought they were saying they were talking about adding this not... to PoE 2. And maybe for PoE 1, but it um, sounds like they already have it in PoE 1. resources game at wait. the end of the day, so... Not, <laughs> not actually, but... um. Some of that make two, we obviously have no more portal scrolls, and I'm not saying that we're doing that in PoE 1 just oh, yet. Oh, there's no more however, portal scrolls in PoE 2. Maybe ever. But however, in PoE 1, what we are adding is, and it's come <clears> from the bingo sheet, um, is uh, a bind key to just instantly open a portal. Oh, you're such um, beautiful you bastard, bind, Mark. And you don't now have I to don't open care that it takes up a spot on my inventory, having, whatever. I think having to open your inventory during a boss fight um, or something is not... Oh, look, with pausing, that's oh, kind of more acceptable. I don't even know if I'll need to log out with that. Because T and pressing it... Messing around with that as long as it yoinks me pretty quickly, you should really have to be doing. And the changes um, to POE2 portals is what it's really going to be on my mouse button. That. So, yes, in 324, uh, we and I'll we'll do the classic. Uh, it's not even going to be T like it is in ST Park, it's going to be my mouse button. Actually, showing how it works, um, there will be a bind for instantly opening a portal, assuming you have a portal. It might also be safer. Sick. Yeah, it, it might actually it. be safer. Right. That's fantastic. Um, there's been uh, another thing that's been mentioned a lot in chat, which is, uh, it's going to be safer, faster, on no, it's not going to be faster. Logging out will still be faster, for example, but it'll be safer. And, uh, uh, I certainly want to, I don't, I don't know how to say like more like, um, consistent and last time, obviously with Chieftain we missed the mark, but now during affliction with the league server status wise, because the client should rip you out fulcrum and whatnot. Your um, client should also rip you out, not so, just you know, the servers. So, it's kind of interesting that in last live stream we discussed that one not really hitting where we want, and now it's got a lot more uses, and maybe this coming league it'll have a lot less uses. We'll see. Um, it's quite fun how the league changes how what people... I, what have they been talking program, about for the yes. past, like, two minutes? I haven't been listening. That change alone, oh, man. That change 100% came from Last Epoch. It won million percent. They added that because of Last Epoch. Um... That's why I love competitive get like there's actually like competitive market now with last epoch. Ah oh, god, I hope that last epoch keeps pushing them. Cause a few of these changes that we've seen, I think this league mechanic might have even been, you know, came about because of last epoch. The the league mechanic, the uh, necropolis league mechanic, it kind of feels like a, a Apex is crafting. Like, you put on all your Aphexes. Uh, and then you could, like, do higher tiers of those Aphexes to make an item. But it still has the the PoE randomness of a percentage chance of it happening, not 100%. Oh. Uh, ascendancy class balances are nice. Effectively, we just have to, yeah. uh, again, look at what resources yeah. we have and decide exactly. how much we can do. You think you want it, but you target. don't. But if there's we another might, game that proves that you do want it. Towards the end of each league development and think, what are we going to do next? It's still not 100%. Look at, problem, look at what we want to do. Could be wrong, but... We have a but, list that's bigger oh. than we can do. And often... But the, you think you want it, but you don't. But there's another game that does it. Uh, so you actually shows that you do want it. The, the new argument will be... Well, that's just not our game. You can go play that game if you want that to happen. That'll be the new thing. Um, because, you know, they're not a FPS shooter. If you want to go play an FPS shooter, you go play that game. Uh, Those things are yeah. on that list, and we have to weigh oh, what a good change. option A or option B, and sometimes balancing an ascendancy class is overall... Oh, less... I need to, like, go back. I haven't been listening you know, at all. Obviously, Chieftain... Uh, video probably after this or next week or some with us actually showing how it works. Um, there will be a bind for instantly opening a portal, assuming you have a portal scroll in your inventory. Sick. Very good. Very yeah. good. Love to hear it. All right. Okay, what were they talking about for like the two minutes um, I wasn't listening? There's been uh, another thing that's been mentioned a lot in chat, which is uh, do you have any brief comments on the state of uh, some of the lesser used ascendancies like Gladiator, for example? Any potential reworks or improvements coming to them? They're coming probably uh, next. I certainly want to. Um, I I always love Necromancer doing got that. their rework um, this league. And last time, obviously, with Chieftain, we missed the mark. But now during Affliction with the league meta, obviously, Chieftain grew into fit a little bit with, uh, with what, Fulcrum We also have and tattoos and back, which might make um, Chieftain 
so you even know, more kind of obsolete. That last live stream we discussed that one not really hitting where we want, and now it's got crazy a lot that more uses. I see a fight in the bottom left. Coming league, it'll have a lot less uses. We'll see. Um, it's quite fun how the league changes how what we play. <laughs> Mouse button However, portal. yes, uh, ascendancy class <laughs> balances are nice. Is that we, an actual thing? We just have to again look at what resources we have. No, and it's how much a keybind, not a um... target it. We might. I mean, generally, I we have a big bind. discussion. Yeah, you probably wouldn't be able to move that. Development and think, what are we going to do next? Look at the problems. Look at what we want to. Do. Um, it's quite fun how the league changes how what people play. However, yes, uh, ascendancy mm -hmm. class balances are nice. Eve effectively, we just have CC to CC uh, one HP zero damage builds for Toto. Where we want to target it, we I might, would have never played a build like that. Discussion it wasn't for Toto. The end of each league development oh. and think, what are we going to do next? Look at the problems. Look at what we want to do. And we have a list that's bigger than we can do. And often those things are on that list, and we have to weigh like, are we going to do option A or option B? And sometimes balancing an ascendancy class is overall less gain for the players than something else we want to do like if you would rather multiple atlas trees and or a gladiator rebalance i would would you rather have gladiator rebalance or portal scroll uh <laughs> like hockey i think i'm taking that portal scroll hockey any day of the week over gladiator rework is there anything in here that they've announced that i would rather have gladiator rework um Uh, not the scarabs, not the campaign changes, not T7 maps, not the scarab or divination, not, I mean the uber boss and the divinations. Um, is there... I, I don't think there's anything they added this league that I would rather have gladiator changes for. Even the automation thing could be interesting. But if they added a glad... So what did I just say? If they added the automation thing, it could be interesting. Um, but if they added Gladiator, I don't think it would be that interesting. I don't... Unless it was like... Com even if it was completely broken, I don't know if I'd be playing Gladiator. I don't know if I'd be playing Melee. Uh, but yeah. Hope to think the majority of people are going to be picking the Atlas Tree feature. Um, maybe not everyone, but again, it's, it's uh, better for the mass and thus, like, that is what we do. So, yeah, it yeah, is look, a, a resourcing... Like one uh, person in chat that says no, 99% like, so say yes. We have, yeah. But we do, okay. we do I'm right on this. Like, don't get me wrong. Um, but yes, we would get there eventually. Um, it will come up in one of the maybe things. Maybe I'm biased because the Necro got to rework this league. I don't Fantastic. know if the Necro thing All is right, going to be better. Up, it does. All one Q and A now. <laughs> Thanks for the very long uh, discussion session. I feel like we could chat about a lot of this stuff all day. Did I Another thing watch I the Poe two interview? Is... Did you watch that? Is it good? Is there anything? Is there any point to listening to this? The game that's not coming out for a year now. Questions also. So. Let's dive into it. The star of the show today was the Ranger, which had the pleasure I had the pleasure of playing at the uh, for a few hours myself. And uh, it really Papa. showcases how much the impact of the WASD changes uh, that movement system has had on the overall design of the game and skills. And I imagine now you've just like gone back and had to look at a bunch of different mm. skills. How and long think, is it? How do we change this now? To yeah. Move? Um, 28 and honestly, minutes, 28, it wouldn't 30 be minutes. incorrect to say that the WASD change had is part partially responsible for the delay of PoE two in some ways. I, I thought because, so because after we because after we changed that, it's like oh geez, you know, like and it's like I almost knew this would even. Happen. It's like as soon as as soon as I was like, you don't need a role like, oh, anymore. Man, like, there's gonna be so many things people are gonna want from this, and um, it's like yeah, like you don't need you do a role, like and I think that, it, it makes a ton of the boss fights a lot easier a lot. because you're always moving, um, right? And, we haven't, and you're not even yet still standing fully still. Explored all the implications of that around. You're just um, spinning in a circle classes. around the um, boss. But um, so like always attacking. Um, yeah, uh, it, it it it's just changed a huge amount. And the thing is, as we look at each, we have 100 percent like, uptime well, on damage like, so and 100 percent uptime on dodging. Show, which we didn't show here uh, on on stream, by the way. But um, there'll be footage of it coming out um uh, from, from the various stream uh, streamers who are there. Yeah, I know um, you get iframes for it, but who cares if I'm never even going to be in the attack? Again, uh, which is a class we already showed. Um, and then we uh we look like like we're playing around with WSD for melee. We kind of like immediately kind of had this like feeling of like oh now that we've got like facing um uh, direction being a thing 
uh, will be able to have uh, active block now because you know you can choose your facing direction. You can have a button to raise your shield up, and uh, that will mean that um, you know that like that feels good with WSD too. So like that's another example. Of just, like, you add this, you go to another existing class. You're like oh man, you know I think now rebuke, we can have this, but like directional rebuke. Class, oh man, we can have this, and like it really it just it's Ugh. just. It's just yeah it's it's just kind of that sounds gross oh look all chat saying gross too of, of uh, repercussions uh, um so yeah it's been a bit crazy it seems like it's a really good option that now sounds for disgusting you to distinguish the classes and the skills further now too because you can have like the slippery elusive ranger where nearly all of its skills can be shot while moving that's or you good have in the like area where nearly souls. everything is not good in an arpg where you're getting hit from all angles at what? the same time i don't know that i wouldn't i would, don't know that i'd say that the warrior is particularly stationary imagine you're playing elden ring but there's sure, sure. 50 more monsters that, um, and, and all shooting the other at you and swinging at you at the same time character either even while you're moving it's just that you've you're you're more uh yeah it, but it certainly is dangerous when you've got a slower skill even when it's moving a bit like so that double uh sorry it's called the work slam for now. slams uh, the rolling slam skill like you have to choose when to use that and that is definitely a feature like if i'm of, um, the getting warrior, slammed in a big on, circle aoe but i'm blocking same, like, in like, the direction of the boss does it still like, block it you feel very free to move or around only like projectiles um, and melee and, swings uh, so like that that is a hugely different feel um but at I the assume same it doesn't time, do ground effects um, either. The, the, we we always want to have make sure that there's ground effects and like slams just aren't affected. I can still do what I need to do. So even when you've got like the sort of slower attacks on, a, on another class, really... um, there's still the there's there's still like a feeling of. I didn't think they were gonna the delay. I really didn't think they were gonna delay the beta for any reason. I, that doesn't make any sense because why not just keep it in beta and keep testing things, and just keep the game in beta for like a couple more months instead of delaying the whole thing like basically it's going to be like a year um um so uh yeah like uh that that's that like guess that's yeah but why not let us just test them feel like you're losing control if the battle. alpha is going out and people are going to be How testing it, it why not just make that, the beta like, come out and just be testing it with more people between different skills and potentially builds um affect things like boss and monster design and how do you like well, balance against hype is incinerated yeah, for this game this it's the not there thing, that, there's like, no I hype with Mark, hey, we're adding this now and he's like oh my god i'm not hyped for it I, the, the hype is gone you know like... it was like it was it was dodge roll and then it's like oh no like we have <laughs> yeah. to go through and make sure like every monster every skill everything yeah. we have to go can you be dodge rolled or can you not be dodge rolled right and we have yeah to make that what decision. the fuck was the point and of all like, those interviews i did ah finally we got through all of them oh and here's reacted to I'm like, oh no well, so yeah because we've added now an <laughs> indicator on attacks that implies they're unblockable that means yeah. they're unblockable but also yeah. all the bosses have to make sure that there's the right ratio of blockable to unblockable attacks um you know and there's, there's a few things you cannot get wrong you cannot have the aoe look like one thing and it is actually another thing very bad if you have a telegraph mm. or anything and it looks like it's going to do a 20 radius and it does 30 radius and damage people will immediately and even on one boss people will be like this game has bad ah almost like largon or whatever the fuck his name is in last epoch where his beam doesn't actually match up with where he's looking or what he's doing lagging yeah lagging these nuts bitch boxes and fuck that guy. blah 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 and then the Good other thing boss. is if you all of a sudden are using active block and a skill that uh. you think should be blockable isn't blockable and we don't like telegraph that properly again you'll have the same problem right. where you now don't trust that feature throughout the whole game so it's like mm -hmm. not only do you have to get it right you have i to don't trust any boss in last epoch now none of them like, not a single you know, one i trust be blockable, after not the be bullshit blockable. that i had you have to ask several people like what they feel because sometimes it's in a gray area and generally if it's in a gray area you have to say yes it is blockable because i don't have the benefit of asking people so. because i'm and so yeah trying to go through it blind times you have to go through all those monsters <laughs> and change everything yeah. is not low but then even with uh like moving while shooting on the ranger um, if something kills me in necropolis with the league mechanic i'm never doing that league mechanic thing again ever i just never it's not happening like because then once again, uh, you sure unless i see patch notes area, changing it um has monsters never ever happening and, and, yeah. and, and hurt you because i won't trust moving, it which is actually a little bit more complicated than initially seems because just just even the smallest amount of movement like depending on what the monster attack times are will cause you to not get hit. the so double crap while you're in the campaign well. if it takes my item i don't know if i'm ever doing that again attack as well to account so i won't press it's a little different for the first time in order to maintain momentum the same thing the player does they yeah i guess it's a little different than it's a percentage chance whether then it's just has the mislabeled hit a moving target um but even projectiles on bosses it's like if you are moving just a tiny bit like a projectile is going to miss so now you have to think okay 
Should it have predictive firing? Yep. Do, we, do added, we just have to increase the speed enough? Like we've what? added tracking to way more yeah, possibilities. That yeah. like so the, the tracking Ooh, has to be way tighter. I hate that. Um, so like um, with um, even with the first Ooh. boss, we had to um, upgrade the tracking to like uh, to target you so that you have to dodge roll. Um, Ooh, way, like, way tracking the skills attack. are gross. Because then you've got moving or shooting on one class, it's like well that means that um, that class can just would just was just trivially dodge, uh, moving uh, yeah. away. Uh, from uh, this is making me depressed so watching this POE two stuff. Has to get an upgrade and like everyone kind of I has, don't like, like, like any the, of this the, yeah the repercussions have just been immense um and uh but I, I think it is worth uh, it oh it feels so much cooler so, much cooler. so much cooler. uh you guys can keep saying it feels 100%. cooler I press x to doubt I just unless you get, hand put the game in my fingertips it just it sounds awful it all just sounds that, that so be bad response, like with the hands on like the boss fights uh they feel incredible maybe and i'll be proven said, wrong once like, i get my hands really on it but it sounds so bad because all of it right before it goes yeah, off yeah. not like yeah, yeah. the early dodge which is like becoming a much more useful predictive thing. is and so gross one, you, know, you only get hit when you stop moving so i right. can see how that was like an yeah, issue yeah, here we are certainly getting away from the just run in circles for 99 percent safety um, and I think that is an absolutely amazing thing. You still kind of run in circles just because you do dodge generally in one uh, direction over another, but like it's not just the like, I am 100% safe while doing orbits around monsters or a boss. Um, yep. There's a lot less of that, which again, makes everything just feel way more engaging and you can't just, I mean, if you want to- A pause, weird thing you is to... you can't do that in Katava um, because he's not in the arena. So bosses that aren't in the arena, don't have this problem so i wonder if they do some more bosses like that that are outside like fucking lagan um is lagan supposed to be katava just thought about that is that is that was that their attempt to make katava you attack the heart with the tentacle i don't know interesting running circles now you can just pause and and <laughs> You know, take a breather. <laughs> I, I know this is like blown out the beta dates for you and it's been a lot of work, but the net result here should be far, far better. Well, yeah, I, I don't know. I certainly think so. Like, it's just, yeah, it, it, it like, I, I, I felt really bad about, um, about missing, missing that deadline, but like, yeah, it's just, like at the end of the day, like if we've found, a, if we have found a game that is better than the one we were making before, then we have to make that game instead of what we were making before, like regardless mm. of if it pushes the date out. So yeah, like that's ultimately, I think, and like, to be fair, it wasn't just that, like there has certainly, like, certainly when we came to do polish, um, and it's interesting actually going back in. So it's been so long since we really polished the start of a game before. Like, and it's weird bringing back all the memories of what we actually did back in the early days of POE 1 that I'd actually totally forgotten about. Like, all the little details um, about actually doing that again. It's like, it's, it's actually kind of really interesting going back again and doing it. I wonder it. how many um, more but, changes um, are in I the campaign what than just the ones they showed. The start of a game to feel good. And like, it took longer to get Act 1 to a right state than we expected. Um, and um, the, the annoying part about it, um, especially, is that we kind of only really realized this um, as we had kind of, as you know, like... like. I wonder how many of, like, uh, once probably, you leave Brutus, like, uh, is there that little and, stupid um, side area? Ago, or does it just take you to the next area? This wasn't going to happen in time. And um, we had already, like, booked in everything for the... New next, layouts um, and stuff we went to. to learn. And then now we were, like, in this, like, ultra-crunch scramble of, like, we have to get this to be good enough for all of these influences. So um, they're going to be playing, uh, you know, like the game and recording it and so on, uh, and ready, ready, ready for that. And um, I think that even what we delivered there, like, even though I think... When did like, the NDA, uh, to, um, like... Get removed I, I right after this live stream, or to what we have been, or things like that. Like, like is, there were actually is there like a Ziz video up? Fall into that uh, meant you had a really bad time, and I do worry that some people kind of fell into those holes and like just didn't um, end up um, having a good time with it because like uh, of that. And um, so that's kind of like probably the. I'm okay the, with them uh, not realizing that they would be ready. Like, like unforeseen um, things coming up. There was way more variance in the experience than probably. I was hoping for. And I think they're doing the right and, thing uh, you know, like in delaying it. Yeah, some people just just like ended but up with they're the, like the catastrophic good items, like, thing that they like, or just, like, did. The skills they happen to pick the combination. The catastrophic thing they did. They're making all the right decisions. They just made one bad decision. You know what that is? The one bad decision was announcing the game to begin with. They should have never announced it. Uh, that's what is fucking them over.
It's been announced for way too long. This game has been in development for like seven years now, six, six years, 2018, right? PB2 has been in development for six fucking years. Why? And we have nothing. Basically we have the, the 20 minute demos from last year that don't, that aren't like anything about how the game's going to play at all. Because it's changed so much since just ExileCon. Like WASD movement, tracking bosses, directional blocking, new classes, uh, all different crafting systems and different uh, endgame system. All the... Like the game's going to be really good. I think this PoE2 is going to be a really good game. I don't know about this whole tracking shit. That sounds awful. The whole WASD thing, I think I'll just have to be proven wrong. That all sounds horrible, but everything else in the game, the 99% of the rest of the game sounds amazing. It's just, I don't care about it anymore. It's been in development for six years. It's probably going to be in development for another year. And then every expansion after that is going to be like probably iterations on the game and like making it better and better. So the real game, like, like the real, like we're playing this game probably isn't going to be until 2026, probably. Like, um, yeah, Last Epoch devs are shit, we could have delayed our release. Uh, Last Epoch is suffering from the same issue. It's been in development for seven years. It's been playable for so long. The only reason I went to play Last Epoch and knew that it was officially releasing was because I seen the funny meme video. But it's technically been a full game throughout the whole way, and it's not done. Like, people were commenting in the YouTube comments hey the game's not even done the the campaign isn't actually done that's just their filler before they actually complete it all the acts and stuff aren't in yet and i'm just like oh that's i hope that's not what pwe2 comes out as for the like 2015 or 2015 2025 when we get it um is actually the full 100% game and not a last epoch just half not half there's probably like 80% of last epoch was released but there's still like a 20% that's just not released and that feels awful for a paid game as well having paid for last epoch and it not being fully complete feels like shit nations that were like uh, yeah. ones that just didn't like work as well as others and things like that and so you know that's that's a bit unfortunate i don't like, know if you did have the good experience i, I just don't want to hear about this there game were certainly people there who got the experience just we wanted to show when, them and um what? like uh it, it's, it's really good to see august or whatever so comes around the people who sort of you know no six months after so it's gonna be like december I'm obviously very comes around more about your feedback in when we get the beta then yeah, it's like that's okay the interesting question i kind of have from this is that like there's no doubt this is a very difficult game pop of exile 2 is very challenging but myself and a lot of the other creators i talked to uh really like enjoyed the way that the difficulty was done and especially the boss fights i felt were incredible i really really enjoyed them but it was very easy to see people who didn't have such a good time yeah. And, so, uh, like, where do you want to try and get this game? Like, so and how do you balance these two things? It, it is very hard, and I think that it's especially hard due to the fact that... Uh, what would solve this is, like, a difficulty modifier. <laughs> but, like, um... It's hard for me to go and have that an That wouldn't fit this game at all. Uh, like, PlayStation... It just wouldn't fit on, it. It, it, another, would be, it wouldn't be bad. Because yeah. I already know the boss. Nothing like so Baldur's like Gate doing honor mode and stuff. That's just not for some people. people Where who haven't played before, bosses are um, one tap. Every that single mob really, can really one tap you. Um, so like even like Explain I will, it to me. if the if the mechanics of the boss gets changed, I will then have to. I will be dying, and, and like I, I I think that's that's great. But once I'm no longer dying anymore, that doesn't necessarily mean there aren't still things that other people are gonna uh, have trouble like learning or, or doing. Um, but I think the worst one is is that, um, and that I think people ran into uh, here as well, um, is that there's something about um, the item system in PoE2 now that's leading to too much variance. And uh, we're, we're actually, I was discussing with Mark before this um, what's going on there, because there, um, there's, it's not obvious to me yet even why that is. 
Um, like the the things like the amount of IPD you can get in a weapon and so like these are basically the same as what they were in POE one. We haven't really changed the mod pool very significantly. Um, so like there's not a lot of changes there, and yet the experience that um, people are getting with regard to what whether their items are, are good or not seem like the variance seems to be higher. Um, so I need to like find out what's going on with that and like see if I can address it. But I think that what it might end up being is that we have to try it. Like it, it can be subtle stuff like to do with quest rewards or um, like or, or like what's going on with the shop and things like that. Um, uh, like like the we can give people tools to be able to fix their own itemization problems so they don't fall into the whole like oh, I just didn't find a weapon like that kind of problem like it, it really sucks. There's a I think a, a it's the issue of small sample size right not not sure. in terms of the number of players but the, in terms of the number of items you're getting like there's a, a scarcity to the items in PoE two which overall felt really good but it does mean that with when there's a like generally a lower number of items dropping. Right, right, right. There's that a bit more there's chance more that one player yeah. will have a rare bow and the other one yeah. will have a white bow. Can, th there's definitely that element, but the hope was is that gold would help with that. Yeah. Um, so that you can use gold to effectively, um, effectively you get to choose your own dropper. I don't know how much you engaged with the shop in particular. I did, but, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, so, um, like, knowing to go to the... Because like, that's the thing, like, uh, in POE 2, the shops matter a lot more because they actually have good items in them. Like, there's, like... Ma it's, yeah. it's, like, majority blues and above um, uh, in the shop. Um, so, uh, yeah, like, that, 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 that sort of helps. But, um, yeah, it's, like, that sort of stuff, like... Uh, but then, okay, so there's one other thing though that I was saying. How horrendous so, and um, last epoch is the fucking gambler. This is another one I'm not sure about, the, but it's sort of interesting to me. The fucking bullshit that as first time user experience testing. Spending all your gold just to get common items and like high. horrendous um, blues and, and like. I think that might be partly to do with like an expectation calibration. Where it's horrendous. Like, because these people um, also like, those tests. Ziggy started talking about the NDA stuff right there. One way or the other about how difficult it is. Probably fine to do. I don't know if that's so. They I guess might be kind of like like more fine with the difficulty actually, which seems kind of kind of intuitive. This is just what it is. This is the yeah, game. Yeah, like a new player is actually like, oh, the difficulty is fine. Like this is just a difficult game. You know what I mean? Whereas like an like a POE one player might be like, this is so much harder than POE one, um, which is like kind of a weird uh, situation that I did not expect before uh, doing this event that we uh, that, that, that that we just did. So um, yeah, that's kind of an interesting one as well. But yeah, there's, there's quite a lot of things there that are going on. But yeah, we we really have to get that nailed, and it's going to require um, I think um, a lot of good alpha testing um, and things like that as well uh, to make sure that everything um, everything there is good. So, it might be uh, a it might be a thing where it's it's just something you have to approach with a safety net mindset where you have like things like you mentioned having some gold so that yeah, the safety yeah. net can be items from I, the I shop. Agree. And another I, idea that myself and a bunch of the other creators kind of discussed at the event was the idea of like having a slow passive fast charge generation so that right. as a safety net, players who are struggling in a boss fight can play defensively and slowly get flasks back that they can use to right, keep right, right. stay alive. There are, I mean, I, I certainly agree that what I don't want to do is a change that will push the top end up as either, because yeah. the top end I think is fine. Like you can definitely feel yep. powerful if you get, uh, if you get For good sure. stuff. Like uh, there are, there is video footage that um of uh, that I've seen of people killing some of the bosses, like still actually just like ten second boss kills because they upgraded like to a, a you know their 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 bow or or or, the, or mace or whatever to like something. Like, I told people that would happen. Elk that was very juicy. I said one hundred percent things like that going on. So the top people end people are still going to be like one tapping bosses. Really Shit. Um, but it's that bottom end, like people falling into holes, that I um, yeah. that, that I'm concerned about right now. It's a fascinating like design problem to approach. Right, right. This with Path of Exile too, and I'm super interested because it doesn't sound like a skill issue. That he would be okay if it was a skill issue that people are falling into the holes. But it sounds like it's an RNG issue, where he could be the best player in the world, but you're just not dropping any item that helps improve your character. Um, like it'd be okay. Like in Poe One, you you'll drop something that could help your character right now. Like even if it's point zero zero one percent improvement, or like point zero zero one percent towards an improvement. In Poe Two, you could just drop nothing. Um. So I don't know what the solution to that is. Because gold doesn't fix the issue very early on. Because very early on, you just won't have gold. Unless I unless items are super, super cheap in like Act 1, where they're like 5 gold or something. Um, but if they're like the bullshit cost of the last Epoch Gambler, where they're like 7,000 gold in the beginning chapters, um... 
where either you literally don't have enough or it's your entire bank just to get a few try a few items and you have a chance to get them common but at least it sounds like there's no rng rolling in the store it's just there are blue items all the time and some rare ones so i'm seeing how you guys have been evolving it and we'll continue to evolve it something i also noticed about like difficulty was and it certainly came mm, up with i think they'll be cheaper because they're based on gold not by monsters right. just how brutal Shards they can be and um, orbs. i felt like it was definitely better here i don't know if i assume they will be getting better or I mean, if you guys changes, were, ch changes were made so it should have yeah. been better okay but it um, still was something that the the thing that stood out to me the most was like getting stunned while mid-air using escape shot on the ranger and I, uh, maybe that should one... not be the case. You should there should be iframes in that skill certainly. Okay, um, so, so uh, yeah, I think, maybe I that's think that might... not quite right. We did have a discussion recently where a number of those like jumping skills should effectively be kind of considered to dodge rolling. Yeah, I, I um, just yeah. It needs it needs it, we need to add it. It can just get a bit really? abusive because you can just be like jump, 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 yeah, and yeah. It, it it. So we need to figure something out epoch. like that just to make uh, sure jump. it's not like, immunity, 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 well, immunity, immunity jumping actually, around, and I'm like, immune, I'm damaged skills, immune, and I'm healing, I'm healing, I'm jumping around. The idea of them having like when you are winding up, you can be stunned, and when you're like winding down, you can be stunned. But yeah, yeah, yeah. You're it would in have the to be, air, have to be there's a short window in there, um, yeah. so that you don't feel like well, you're literally like five meters in the air. That'd be good. Yeah, <laughs> you're getting hit. <laughs> it looked a bit weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and sometimes it did look quite cool and brutal when like a werewolf would do this like lunging attack and swat me out of the air you can <laughs> so do that like, in QE oh, yeah, right now right like, make it so that like like, like, like you can when freeze you're enemies mid leap hit, or mid stuff that, then that's when the, the time when it, oh, it also looks a bit silly it also looks a bit silly when you get frozen when you're five meters in the air as well yeah uh, so, you can do that right now in POE. Uh, that one, uh, we need fall that damage. Oh yeah, yeah, fall damage. Sure, why not? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to push the boat back. I'd be okay with that. You can get frozen midair, but you fall and take frozen damage. damage. I'd be okay with that. Well, I mean, people as long as it happens know, for really enemies too. If I freeze them midair and they also take like fall damage, I'd be okay with that. I know it would. It would suck. It would just be harder. There are multi-story dungeons and that we can see from one floor to the other. Baldur's Gate three bad. Nice. I don't know if we even showed that. That guy's there, fucking yeah. delusional. <laughs> um, so it's certainly a shame about the delayed beta, though mm -hmm. it's pretty understandable given the... It's not like... You hear about the idea of like feature creep in a lot of game design, but here it's Did kind they of the say opposite, when? It's like they, they haven't, oh yeah, no, he didn't creep. say he's not giving a but date. It's like you guys have discovered things that you want to do. What if it's just like three weeks? They're just like, we're delaying it, but like three weeks. Um, but uh, for I assume he's talking like months. What will the beta end up looking like? Actually, I've been curious about this. Will it be like a full campaign, a partial yep. campaign? Will there be end yep. game? Yep, full game. Yep. All all that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just so basically, yep. we want the we, so okay. Look, the he said full game, but no. Okay. Um, There's no point getting leak mechanics on something. Well, I guess I suppose that's what their stance is. But if the game isn't um, like if I don't think it's good, there's no really a lot of point getting feedback from other players. And so like 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 what I, what I do, what, what I what I'm saying with that is is that um. We, Careful! Uh, this is dangerous yeah. as a game developer. What I'm developer. really going for here is like, okay, when we release the because game, because he I might never like, I think, think it's that it's good enough to, to release. It's a great experience, and then at that point, that was really hard for me in school. See. Like, I think that betaing just like like turn in a project. Like yeah. the only value that you can because have I in that almost like never felt that it was like good that. enough. But I don't think you can actually get like uh, in my eyes. For, for like for the whole game. So to me, you have to have. I always wanted to, and I never wanted to. Maybe we don't have to have every single class. But like, um, I definitely think you have to have at least the, the like that the was really campaign dangerous. and the end game there. Now in the beta, what we won't have is like, um, so we'll have an end game in the beta, but it won't include the all essence the mob is the, final right. game the dweller have. being an essence but mob is so weird because you need that in order to be able to test the economy properly and so on. Right? You, you think need that to know all the skill points are going to be to max level and like all the other mechanics stuff. Like, that has to be there. So um, I want that game to like certainly the beta should feel like here is a full game. Like I could have just you know like like. I, I could have just bought this as a new release and that like you know and, and it would feel that good but of course the main thing is is that we need to be able to um the the, the reason why we'll call it a beta is because we need to be able to still make balance changes uh, and be free with that right because if we couldn't do that then that would kind of defeat the purpose so yeah. we absolutely need to have um the, the the freedom to still make balance changes after after that point 
um, but it should still feel the like problem is if you make you know, balance like, changes too like, late as well like classes, but it's, it's, when you're 99 percent through with the beta there won't be enough time to like That's test because like i think the difficulty changes. with giving feedback after exile con was that they were pre-built characters and that kind of misses the point of the game because character building is such yeah. a big part of the game well, right the, with this and event, this is the reason this is the reason why we want to do the la event and actually get yeah. people um, like myself to really try that um and uh yeah like uh i really thought the la event was still going up until information from that like looking this at weekend because yeah there were, there were they, holes he said in the interview um yeah. so uh, there's clearly um, more work to do there um with preach and, that um, yeah the, the, but yeah they we, were going we to go to there or something right? you got to see stuff that you didn't expect so i guess they, yeah, they're yeah, all just sure, used sure. in ways you didn't expect just got off the plane sure, or something sure. like right now <laughs> that was really cool you're like oh i didn't think anyone would use that skill that way well, the one that was the most annoying that was a total mistake was the crossbow um like there was some balance on the crossbows that was like left in there from when we did the act five demo where like it was just like and and then and then that all just kind of like uh fell back all the way to act one and then it, no one f people forgot to like actually balance that problem again <laughs> and the reason why is because like we didn't even um uh the crossbows have their own skills built in and the balance of those was not really correctly working with all the regular um uh, scaling that we do for other weapon types is this the problem oh, because so, they don't um, have level yeah, one so skill someone, um, gems for everything one of those you, like some skill gems you literally just can't get a level one version like of um, <laughs> <laughs> the fall um, yeah, yeah. uh yeah and um when i saw Cheetah. that i was like oh my god or not a level one but a lower level version this was supposed to go um, <laughs> like the level one version will always yeah, so just be like a like that in there as well 30 gem. Yeah. yeah, these things happen. <laughs> mm -hmm. These things happen. So I think people are immensely curious about seeing Endgame. We haven't seen any real Endgame for this yet. Uh, what is it going to look like? What a character build's going to look like? How fast is the gameplay going to be? Right. Is this something They're you way too far out to soon? say any of I this mean, yet. We, we will definitely have to be showing it soon, but I think yeah. that... Um, nah, you haven't even shown all the classes when yet. We're finally able to really nah. play through the whole game legit. Parts X to doubt on soon. Because you just need to make sure that you're feeling the power progression as you go through I would have believed soon if you we were still really doing the uh, release. Now, same release date. Actually using, um, now we're weeks, like, if we not months really later. Much of it. And then the nah. range of there, we finally showed like a couple there, but that certainly was not like a full six links for everything, which is what it's going to be in Endgame. Um, and uh, even just with like um, in the Ranger demo there, when you started to add like multi prog and chain to a couple of things, you start to see the kind of like, you know, crazy power um, that um, you expect to see from PoE. And so I will, it will certainly go even crazier than that. that. Is that, um, is that the first time we've seen that... chain and multi prog in PoE? I would say I, I kind of glossed over it and I noticed it a little bit. That's the first, uh, we didn't actually know if that was going to be in PoE too. Multi-proj and stuff. Uh, right? I don't think we'd ever seen that before. Not in any Excel con or any of the betas or any of the videos. That was the first time we've seen painting and multi-proj stuff. They is, okay, like, I don't want it to be just, like, the whole screen is covered to the point where you can tell... Uh, we all guessed that it would be there, on. but we didn't know for um, sure. Like, it needs to still be, like, you know... I'm, at a somewhat, I'm like, trying to think just from a any, visibility perspective it needs to look like imagine like the spear throw you are, stuff like you know covering the screen and lightning the, explosion was it the raider there's supposed to be some understanding of like that lightning throw happening. with um, multi so, uh, yeah like we want the or chaining of power like you want that fantasy of like i'm a, i'm becoming a god um but Ooh, uh, we also try to, to try and make it so that there's still like some level yeah. of counterplay and interest in using different skills and like, having a good time with the boss we've never seen it before feeling that now way. we actually confirm um, yeah, so that, that it's in challenge. but it's and not called lesser multiple it. projectiles it's no, just called seeing how it plays out multiple projectiles yeah, if i have any fear it's actually that so like, i wonder if there's no more greater uh, if it's just the regular one moment gameplay that you're actually starting to count or there is a lesser there's like a two or three that is that is a concern and what i want to try and not have like i don't want the boss fights to feel very engaging and i still even want like even in maps i still want it so that you there are sometimes white monsters where you're like i have to do a bit of counterplay against well no this. that would be an, like you know, not a level up would be leveled down um like it's it, so like like just it, it, not all the time but just sometimes that that yeah. can kind of happen it harkens back to like the early days of Path of Exile where just devourers were scary, right? Like the monster right, right. type devourers were right. scary. Bro, and I, felt I that still was, like, have PTSD from devourers. Whenever I see them, I still think they're going to hurt me, but they just well, never my, do. My, my favorite one monster right now in, um, in, in the demo, I mean, you know the Eternal, I don't know if you fought against them or remember them, but the Eternal Knights in, um, mm. uh, in, 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 the, in the Mausoleum and Tomb are the ones that have a shield that they're just walking forward with a shield up. 
and um, if you hit them, then they um, they shoot a projectile back at you. And oh, so you have to find a way. Worked. Yeah, yeah. So what you have to find a way fuck? to kind of attack them without attacking them from the front, because um, they've got a percent block there. So you either attack, attack them with an AOE skill from behind, or attack them from above, or like use a DJ or They're something like that. They're porcupine mobs like, that don't there. die. And um, as soon as I um, fought one of those, because I, I actually had not known that Mark was adding that mechanic. Uh, so, so oh, to, Mark, you monster, son of a bitch! As soon as I fought that, I like messaged him like, "Man, that monster is so cool!" Like, it's just I really, it's just really cool to sometimes have monsters like that that just like. You're like, oh shit, I have to think for a second. Oh, uh, you know? fuck. I um, dashed into I here and I swung once yeah, and they all exploded on me and um, I fucking died. When something is blocking, they still take stun damage. So they can yeah, still get can stun. Them, you can stun them ah, out of it. Ah, good. Yeah. But you can also um, walk up to them and they start attacking and then walk back yeah. and then attack them. And, and then, yeah, them. He'll, uh, he'll have a moment in his animation where the shield goes more out like that and then the blocking is disabled. Right. Um, so I yeah, didn't they have to figure that out. But also, but also, if you use lightning arrows, you can like AoE them from behind or like, you know, there's the poison burst, which will poison the guy even though he didn't take damage. Could jump over their heads. There's so many ways, back. but it's like kind of interesting to to have stuff like that. Yeah, people uh, noted the poison on the live globe. Is there other like display of these sorts of effects on um, characters? I do want it to needs do more a, of those. That was added really recently. And it needs it an effect cool. on the poison. Like, it can't, can't just be that green. changed to matter as much as it mattered. Um, yeah. but it actually it just really it needs to be like an, uh, uh, for, you know like um, petrified those, blood um, like turns the really it's like so not I just want to red more, like, I it's think like that, a um, texture it needs that shock and ignite and um and, and stuff like that and bleeding of course bleeding being a you know one one of those you tell stacks though you can't good to have can't tell stat, you just tell that they are i think absolutely i mean increasing visibility of those mechanics i think is super important um so uh yeah like the, we, we'll definitely do more of that and i, I, like I don't it. think it's we've exploited change. uh like maybe the they can finally put that energy shield above the health bar um, before um so like yeah maybe. just that simple just maybe it's possible for them to do it something just no. yeah, it's, it's weird how much it matters um yeah. so i also noticed cool. enemy mobs had better signaling of Correct. their effects as well like a shield Correct. if they were protected or whatever by certain Correct. things and i want to uh, do even better yeah. like um i noticed uh like um i was just you know, like I, I think there's more we can do around like feedback for when the you know for when your when your hits not working. It makes me so like, like happy like, and sad tons of watching. Stuff this. We should do better there. What is, um, is it melancholy? And, uh, is yeah, the it, it's um, happy like, sad? I don't remember what the it, it, yeah. As I said, the these little tweaks is. they matter a lot. So it looks so good, yeah. and it looks it's like it's all going to be so great. Talk to both of you. But it's just like for your I know we're not getting this for a long time, and also all of the content that's released from the LA is that. And I'm worried that so. All right. So hopefully there are going to be features that I think are good, and they're all going to suck. what's going on. So we will. And maybe there are features that I think suck, like directional blocking. Thank you very much, everyone. Yeah. Gonna be amazing. See ya. All right. Yeah. Clappa's in the chat. Clappa in the comments. Um, man. Not how I wanted to end this video. It's just like, I feel bad. But I'm also, like, excited, but, like, not really. I guess I'm, I'm sad and hopeful. Not excited. I'm really hopeful. It looks so promising, but it's just like, it's, it's just so far away. It also feels bad of like doing all those interviews and watching all that because none of it really matters. Um, everything that they've done in those is like so far away. It's possible none of it's in the game. Um, who knows when we're going to see Huey 2. I maybe it's just gonna be delayed for a few weeks, like a month, maybe two months, maybe. But it's looking like it's gonna be like six months, like it's gonna be like December, and they still want to do like six months of beta, so it's probably not gonna be for another completely full year until it's released. Um, and that's if there's no delays during the beta. Yeah, so I was talking about how I'm like doing all these builds and broken stuff because uh, it was going to be like maybe our last league playing PUE 1, but now it's like there's going to be like four more PUE leagues before PUE 2 is like released. Uh, and now they're splitting. They are doing 50-50 and like Jonathan was talking about it, he's working on PUE 1. Like, he was working on the campaign. 
Uh, they are splitting the teams, it looks like, 50-50. So PoE 2 is just going to get a little slower, and but PoE 1 is going to be a little better. Um, so we won't get a Crucible League again. Because uh, there was just so much stuff out of this PoE League. Uh, yeah. I assume every League from now on we're just going to get more and more T17 maps. They're just going to keep adding more and more of them. Yeah. Anyways, back to, like, Huey 1 stuff. Um, it's too powerful, and so, you know, there's things like that where that's... And like you all, <laughs> the Portal Scroll. Skills and all of that. There's not... Or the Portal Hockey thing. So crazy. That's so good. It's so nice. Um, I don't know how this League Mechanic's going to feel. I really don't. It sounds so dangerous and unrewarding early. Uh, I hope they add grace to the mechanic. I was thinking about it. It doesn't really matter for maps, huh? Because you're dealing with the lantern in your hideout, not in the map. It's only for the campaign where it's going to be like, oh, you're in the campaign and you know that uh, map that's like Brutus, but not Brutus, in I think it's Solaris Temple? Or Lunaris Temple? No, Solar it's in Solaris Temple. And you go to like, you could aggro him and he could chase you down and then you get to the staircase and you're like, oh, what's this one and this one? And then he just fucking beats your shit in. Um, but not even bosses, like, they're unique, so I mean, it could just be regular mobs that just like, do some shit, or they could be like a DD under your feet. Yeah. The the hopes for December and stuff were like release, not for beta. But now hopefully hopefully the beta is just like pushed to like October and we still get the release in December. It's just going to be a shorter beta. That I would be hyped again if they confirm those dates. But I really doubt that. But if it is true that it's like October and December, that would be really good. Um, Because the alpha is out now. They're letting alpha... Well, not, it's not out now, but it will. the alpha will be out then. Um, letting people play. Select few NDA'd people. <laughs> Maybe it's me, but I can't tell you. Um, yeah. How fucked would it be I'm, this whole time I'm talking to you about it, but I've just been playing PoE 2 this whole time? I'm one of the alpha people because I've been I have seven thousand hours in this game, and that's why they chose all those people with like seven thousand plus hours. Probably ten thousand plus hours is who they chose, but I can't tell you whether I can't confirm nor deny whether I have played BoE two. Ah, uh, yeah. I think that's it for this video. There's so much going over. I I think I'm gonna watch patch notes now. I uh, completely forgot about this interview. It was a thing. Um, I guess I'm gonna watch someone read the patch notes. I'm not gonna upload a video. I'm not gonna stream that either. Um, but all right, I'll catch you guys in the next Pee release video. No, uh, it'll probably be the last Deepak review, then Pee two. Or the POE 2, then the release video of uh, POE next week. To later. Um, play the, have the play style of. Hey, now later, when he's not talking over me. Later. Oh. All right, so it's like Necropolis. Uh, I don't think. Let's see if there's anything new.
they were saying that it's not going to be like a, a loot drop league or like a, a magic find league. This 400% increased rarity in quant tell a different story. That looks like it could be crazy. I wonder how often you get it or how high those often are. Skills fire three additional projectiles. Holy fuck. I was playing last night with... I just was chaos rolling all the maps and just not giving a fuck what the mods were. And multiproj was almost killing me. Still haven't died yet. I haven't ripped any of my characters. Um, what is happening right here? Gems can be socketed. How many mods is this? What is happening here? This is too many mods to have on an item. One of these is a double. Is the evasion armor evasion? Is it the double? I think so. Damage taken is the suffix, right? Plus one power charges. Name. Movement speed can't be modified. I really don't know how strong this crafting system is going to be. Oh, some of the other... Wait, did they show all these? Yeah. I think this one might be good. This one might be good. Uh... Does this mean in your tree as well? Or just in the item? Because if you can have this in your tree and I can have like 10 specters, not even, it's like more. It'd be like 15 specters. This is going to be crazy. I think it just means in the item though. Uh, yeah, I don't know. And it has increased... I was going to say it has increased energy shield, but not for the minions. Because I was going to say the energy shield on your minions now when you're leveling could be maybe helpful. This seems bad. This seems horrendous. The worst goddamn ad I think I've ever seen. Uh, and this seems probably bad. Um, let's start from those frogs. They drop tattoos. That's crazy. Splitters of tool. So I'm assuming you can get all the splitters and all. Oh, this specifies tool, but this does not. Oh, Val splinters. No, it does specify. So you can get all the splinter ones. Greatly increased experience. Okay. Every league, they got to have one thing that does experience. Uh, we seen these. There was nothing interesting about them that I seen besides the 10%, right? Can't be leached from. <laughs> People are going to be so tilted at that. Um, monsters reflect. Players which throw mines, throw one fewer mine. Oh, Volatile Cores was the thing that I was like, what the fuck is that? Uh, these are new Uber Other Fights, new Atlas Skill Trees. I think it's going to be your favorite. Your favorite one, a left tree and a right tree. That's what I think this is probably going to be. Um, we've seen all these. Heat up to a unique boss, Catalysts. Um, yeah, we've seen all these. It, it, I wonder if you can have two divination scarabs in the same thing at the same time because they're not tiered anymore. Before you couldn't do that because they were tiered. Now that they're not tiered, I wonder if you can do this. New gems, tornado, crisis tornado, a random element that hinders or really damages enemies. Pretty physical damage to chase down enemies for duration. Nice shot of penetration. Okay. 
Okay. Self-explanatory. <laughs> the air targeting a specific arrows deal area damage to enemies around. Okay. Call to arms. War cry. Trigger when it's cooldown is over. All your war cries show that your cooldown. Huh? Is this automation for the, your war cries now? What if you have two war cries connected to it? They both go off and share a cooldown? I don't know. And then the automation support. Is there any mana multipliers or something on it? 0.6 seconds. Oh, huh. I wonder what the, um, oh, there is no more, no, wait, there is a quality. There's no alternate qualities. I was going to say, oh, there's no quality. I wonder what it is. What's the quality on this? The reduced cooldown recovery? Hmm. And supporter packs. Let's go buy a supporter pack right now. Um... I think that's everything here, and I'll close all this. We'll end it off by going to buy that supporter pack. I want the turtle. 